All right, we do have 31 people. So we'll start with our bit segue that I had readied. Are you guys ready for the cringiest thing ever? <laughs> Mr. Yue Pang himself want to uh, leave you guys a little message. <laughs> oh my god, you're getting your bookmarks. Wait, wait, I, I need to uh... <laughs> yeah, it's like bookmarks, pause. Kevin. Dude, it's like the most generic shit ever, okay? All right, let's let's get let's get this video on. You're such a cutie. Yes, you are. Yes, you are. All right, you gotta turn it up, dude. It's yes, too quiet. Are. I love you so much. It's at max, dude. Cringe. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So if you weren't under, if you weren't aware of the Gochi Usa uh. set review, Mr. Yue Pang did a cover remix of Stacy's Mom by some girl singer that I do not know, but he replaced Stacy's Mom with Cocoa's Mom. One of our artistic talents within the Weiss community reached out to Yue and did a commission to draw Yue with Coco's mom. Uh, she goes by <laughs> Claire Rassine, I think. If I, I'm sorry if I butchered it. But uh, she often does Weiss card artwork on the Facebook Global page. <laughs> uh, he, here's her social information, just in case if you want to check her out. And she's, I think she calls herself one of the two Weiss moms. In the community. So shout out to her. That's our community king Kevin. Yeah. Knowing all the in. <laughs> I think we also have some new commands we added. Nice. You spelled artist wrong. That that's I literally copy paste whatever uh UA sent me. So we'll blame you. Blame Ra <laughs> UA. <laughs> it's okay. It's okay. He's not a, he he's not for his he's ESL, it's okay. We also have sponsors for our usual stream. So as we know, these uh, set review shows can can only be done thanks to our two sponsors, uh, Brian from Nova TCG. You can buy Japanese wife card singles, not ladies. And you can also pre-order play sets through Nova TCG. He'll also be doing doing box breaks uh, on what Friday? I think Friday night he's doing he's streaming box breaks. You can pick them up at a. Uh... On Nova, yeah. So you can you can order yourself a box. He'll open it on stream, and he'll send you the cards you pull. Uh, other stuff is uh, we it. have Weiss Tea Time with Taya. She's the one who provides us with these slides for our set for shows. She also has her site with all the translations that we use for the show, and she has other interesting blog articles that you guys should check out. Alright, let's turn on my BGM back on. Yeah, let me get my let me get my thin mint coffee. Hang on. So as you know, this is the best ever Y short set review for probably one of the biggest set to come to Weiss. And by big I mean big card pool, because the set has seven trial deck cards. I actually want to turn on Too this many. BGM a bit. Yeah, BGM is so loud. You're not even, I can't believe you're not even using like Pecker as BGM. You're cringe. Come on. Dude, that's, royalty that's, free. Is that royalty free? Yeah, it's Dova, it's Dova Syndrome. It's all royalty. Uh, all the okay. whole lives are royalty free. Cringe. Uh, we have big whales for the set. We have big bucks to pay for all these foils. <laughs> that's your, a big cup of prides. And we have. Two big whales up here who are buying multiple SPs. I'm waiting for English. Uh, I'm not. Well, you're not buying crony SPs? SSPs? I'm buying like one of each. Maybe. Hey, everyone, call him weak in the chat, please. I didn't I didn't see I didn't see a uh, Yahoo auction for the SSP coronet, so I'm still scared. <laughs> 
All right, as of every day, every time we do this set review show, we, we rate each card on the scale of, of one to five. Ones are being cards that you probably should not pick up. They're generally low power. Twos are pretty niche and generic staple, uh, like tech cards that you can pick up that you might see play. Threes are cards that could be a two or it also could be a four. Fours are generally good staples that you will want to pick up and play in multiples. And fives are set defining cards, cards that you would want to pick up to just to play the set. The reason why you play the set is for these cards. All right. And with my two guests here, we have Jason. Malik. Hello. And we have Malik. Thank you. Malik. And we have <laughs> Ryan Wiberly. He is a third place finisher of the 2019 Worlds. Came second place in that White Schwartz Invitational. You might have seen him part of our show during the Slime Volume 2 show. And uh, he got eight choice wrong completely. Yeah. And he's a pretty big nerd. Now what's up, guys? It's second time on the stream. Am I the first Hello, returning man. guest? No, that's me. No, Human was. Human, yeah, Human. And I I was technically first returning guest, then I became actual host. So I don't know how how much that counts anymore. Wait, what? Wait, what were you on there? I for? was on Salt Lily and Mushoku. My my Daki, my Daki's back there. I don't want to go get it. It's too much. I gotta get up to get it. Yeah, I have my Rushia poster in the back there with all my Kato. Oh, I'm focused. Fuck you, Sam. Hang on, I gotta. All right, I guess we're ready to start. I'll, I'll fix it. And we'll, we'll wait for Jason to fix his cam. All right. There we go. So on this show, this time, usually we'll go over each color one by one, you know, yellow, green, red, blue. But for Hollow Live, similar to how we did it for Shiny Mass, we're going to separate each section by groups. Uh, today, we're only do doing half of them because this is a big set, so there's actually too much cars to go all at once will probably run over time and most of you guys will probably fall asleep me so today we'll go over the zero gen the first gen the second gen and gamers which will gamers yeah. so first off we're going to start with the zero gen this is going to be cars that has sora miko what was it sora miko suisei, suisei. and roboco All right. First up, we have this TD00 Sora. Uh, she is continuous. If all, if you have two more other whole life characters, all of your one zero sweet say climbers combo and your three two Roboco climbers combo gains one K power. It's also a brainstorm for five. A draw brainstorm for five. Yeah, being, being a brainstorm five is like pretty neat. Make make it try to make the the TD brainstorm just a little bit more appealing. Also, flexing that it has double combo on it. OP. <laughs> yeah, so uh, uh, you're going to notice a trend when we cover trial deck cards because the trial decks kind of got a whole bunch of similar profiles. They just changed the names around. So every trial deck got a, a, brain, a draw of Brainstorm 5 that also gives power to the two uh, trial deck respective combos. And for the most part, all those. All the like the way we're gonna talk about those cards is probably gonna be the same for all of them. There, you only play them if you want to be playing the trial deck combos specifically, and then that's probably all you're gonna do. So if like you want to build around the two combos you see on the screen, then you would probably include the Sora. If you don't build around these combos, then you just don't play this card. All right, and what is your rating? Uh, I'd probably say it's a two. Like it, for a trial deck brainstorm, I think this is actually really good. And I don't. I think that this is maybe like the best trial deck brainstorms we've gotten in a very long time. But you, it's it is limited to playing around the trial deck combos. So if you don't play them, you don't win this brainstorm. Is how it is. All right. True. Sounds good. Next we have this TD00 Suisei. She has continuous. He cannot play events or backups with hand, and she's 4K base. Generic 4K. Kind of cringe with this set though, with all the events. Yeah, this uh, usually this like these kind of profiles are like good color fixes because uh, oversizes are usually the easiest way to fix your color. But this set has a whole bunch of events that you actually want to be playing. So the demerit is an actual demerit for the most part. All right, uh, uh, rating. Uh, honestly, I think it's probably just a one. One star. 
It was bad, man. Better oversized anyway. Especially well, you guys can over which TD Prints are package is the best. Potentially, when we talk about the combos. <laughs> Next, we have this uh, 1 0 Suisei. Uh, she is when this card is placed in the hand from stage, she this turn just gains 3k power, so it'll be 7k when she play her. Uh, she's climax combo when this card's battle opponent is reversed. If you have the bar CX in the climax zone, you may choose one character or the Hollow Life Zero Generation event in your waiting room and add it to your hand. I think a, a 9k with the, the Sora Brainstorm is pretty neat. Combo is pretty planned though. Yeah, this card's massive, which is like a of merit in itself because level one combos don't usually get that big without any any real help but like just getting a single salvage off of reverse is not really ideal especially in like a meta which we're in right now we're getting reverses is pretty premium at level one so i don't actually think that this combo is particularly good if, if the event that you could uh, grab was maybe a little bit better or a little bit more desirable then maybe this combo would be better but it's just kind of a trial deck combo that you can play but it's not the best all right, and your rating? Uh, it's uh, just a two star. It's an okay combo, but I wouldn't want to be playing it unless you specifically want to play Suisei. The art's also really cute. All right. All the trial deck art is pretty True. good. Next one is 3TD Sora. Uh, she has continuous of two more other whole life characters. She gains one five in hand on core. And with cards placed on stage from hand, you may heal one. Decent standby healer, or standby target healer, I guess. Uh, I actually think that this is like a, a really good standby target, actually. I think this is like a card that kind of does everything you want out of like a generic 3-2 standby target. It's sticky, it it's gives you healers. Uh, it's like decently big on her own. Well, it's a pretty good card, it's just the color is a little awkward. Like trying to fit green in standby is uh, going to be a recurring problem with this set. So this card becomes a little less desirable because of that. It's okay. At least green and yellow are like the good colors. Smile. Rating? Uh, it's probably also just a two right now. I, like, I think this card's really good, but only good in standby. And uh, when we actually like get to standby and talk about that, it you'll kind of we'll kind of talk about how hard it is to play green in that deck. I didn't want to see the plush, Jason. Hmm. Oh, both of you have the matching plush. Whoa! Whoa! Whoa. Where's my plush? What the hell? <laughs> yeah, I also, have, I also have the Coronet pillow. Yeah. <laughs> Both uh, tier three Toa Toa subs. I love, I love. That. <laughs> All right, next we have uh, the zero zero Roboco. She is continuous assist five, and she's act pay to rest this salvage one. Actually, pretty decent for the package that it's a part of. Uh, yeah, like perfectly decent generic kind of card it gives you a way to convert excess stock into like actual pluses and that's like actually something that this set's lacking surprisingly well this card so, especially with the with uh the, the merge thing yeah yeah yeah. so i we can talk about that when we get to the cards but this is like one of the targets for your merge as well so it, it adds like some extra value there if you're trying to play the the roboco 3 2. all right rating uh it's also probably just the two it's like it's decent enough utility you can consider it but it's not the best your friend should have bought the uh the toa annie all so right they came with a cute wall scroll next we have this thick die miko of zero zero uh all your opponent's character gains encore pay two and she's also a pay one discard on play search your deck for a whole life character often known as a drop search I thought this card was the Salter until I proxied it and played with it, and I'm like, wait a minute. This card's c condition is like actually irrelevant. This card's stupid. Yeah, Encore 2 is like not really a condition in a lot of situations, or not really a demerit, I should say. So it's like, a, it, it is actually kind of a fake demerit for power. Also, Armpit. Also, Armpit. Yeah, so. Um, not necessarily on this stream, but if like any of you guys, you guys watch otherwise content that I've been a part of, I've actually said that this is like one of the best profiles at level zero in the game, like an oversized drop search because it uh, it it gives you a really good utility throughout the entire game while also uh, flexing into being an ideal opening card that can give you pluses and then generate you more resources. And that uh, logic still applies for this card specifically. It is an amazing plus in zero. The only like 
downside to this card specifically is that it because it's red it its job as a plus two zero is actually a little diminished because red isn't a particularly good color unless you're playing standby but so it is hard. the best splash for red though it is the best splash if you're trying to tech in red into your deck which is uh true you'll see as we go through the set there's not a lot of <laughs> options to splash red but like the the desire to splash red is lower so this card's value actually becomes a little bit lower but it's still an absolutely amazing level zero all right, and the rating is? Uh, this card's a four, honestly. Armpit of, armpit of a ten, Pog. Big armpit. four. <laughs> <laughs> that art's so good. Oh, my God. Nico's, Nico's too elite for this, this stream. You guys are you guys need the bonk hammer. <laughs> All right, next we have this, three, uh, this TD 3-2 Roboco. When this card is placed on stage from hand or by fusion, you may check the top cards of your deck, add one. Uh, climbs combo, when this card's battle opponent is reversed, you may pay one. If you do, you may burn two. And you see the, uh, fusion 2-1 in the bottom there. It's just your generic fusion card. Yeah. Uh, th this card having, like, a trance... I, I call it trance because I play Hino Logic, but a fusion package kind of makes it a little bit better than it probably would be without otherwise, but it's still kind of, a a TD filler, you can play this, I guess, and it's okay, kind of All level right, now three. What if it's healed? Uh, if this was like a an early play healer that could climb as combo two, would be a little bit better, but it still probably wouldn't really be the best or ideal. I would have to say. Darcy, I, I think this card is pretty decent. It has no power though. I wish this card had some sort of power to it. Yeah, it, it's relatively small for being an on reverse combo. And you have to pay stock, and all you get out of that stock after you've early played this card is is a burn two. It's like you're going super resource negative, and you don't really get a whole lot of payoff. All right, Darcy, ask: Is there any merge support for the set? And you frankly, no, mm -hmm. nope, no. This is the so, only merge card. <laughs> no, yeah, there's one, is... there is one more card that plays into this package. Yeah, so th it. this is the only merge card. There's no merge support whatsoever. And the only like the only actual support is that one of the booster robocos has the same name as that zero zero that we talked about earlier. That's the target for this. And that's all the support it got. Mm -hmm. So the mechanics kind of dead in the water. Kind of under support. I wish I wish they put a little bit more into it. But... All right, and your rating? Uh, it's also probably just a two. Like it, it's perfectly playable, but it's not. I, I don't. I wouldn't say it's particularly good. All right, next we have yeah, this. They, le they learned their lesson. No Merlins. 2 1 hashtag whole live zero generation event. This card is a oh, counter. God, Choose one of your characters this turn against the following two abilities. During this card's battle, your opponent cannot deal auto damage to you. You, you, you cannot take damage from auto effects, basically. It, it's in the same realm as the Kagi event, where I think it's also really hindered. It's like a decent effect, but it's really hindered by being in an awkward color. Yeah, I mentioned this already. Red is... It's hard to see when we're doing like a set-by-set -set card review, but when you're actually building decks, red is a really hard color to play around. So this event being red, it it makes the event a lot worse than it probably reads because it's so hard to actually play in, in the decks you're building unless you're playing specifically standby or you're trying to specifically play a red combo like IMA or whatever. All right, rating. Uh, this is hard. I actually think that this event is like really good, especially as like a very specific meta tech. But like it's in such an awkward color, so I'll just say it's a two for now, and say and leave it at it's a good meta tech, but it's hard to play. Would you want? Would you rather give no. it a three? Mm, no, like, I think like I, I, it's hard to like sell how hard red is to play in Hollow Life. And I think that that is now like a, a huge demerit that makes this card a, a lot worse than it should be. All right, sounds good. Merlin does not deserve another chance. That card can just rot forever, along with Cosm EPR. Go away, Dan. All right, we got this uh, booster card now. We got this double rare three two Sora continuous. If two more of our Hollow Life character, this gains two K power, so it'll be eleven K cross. Uh, when this card is placed on stage or. Uh, when this card is played on stage from hand or deck, you may pay the cost by paying one. If you research your deck for another copy of this card and place it on stage in any slot, then you can shuffle your deck afterwards. 
Uh, when the bar CX is placed in your climax area, if this is card is in your front row, you have four more Hollow Live characters until the end of your opponent's next turn. This gains 1k power in the following ability. Uh, to start your opponent's attack base, choose one of your opponent's characters. This turn it gets minus two souls, so it'll be the 12k off turn with the combo. This card's sick. The fact that it spawns itself is like, we don't really have the, relevant for minus soul. We, we don't have the changer on here, but this card actually, like, it, it, you can read it and you can see that the card has a changer, and the changer mm -hmm. itself is also really good. So I guess we can maybe talk about that more when we get to that card. But you, you can early play this relatively easily at level 2, and then because it searches itself very uh, effectively, you can get uh, triple Sora out uh, consistently at level 2. Which uh, makes like these kind of cards a lot better than they probably should be. Alright, and your rating? Uh, I think... <laughs> This card's really good, honestly. I actually think this card has a lot of potential to build around and to play with. So I'm gonna say it's a three. I don't think Meg Soul combos are uh, like good enough to be a four or five, but it could be later down the line if uh, the fact or how uh, consistent this combo ends up being because of the search uh, makes it play out. Yeah. No healer, no healing level, <laughs> minus soul combos. Very sad. Very sad. I also just struggled to see that really bad, but. Anyhow. And as we talk about the changer, here we are. Uh, this rare 2-1 Sora, she's a level assist. Uh, she is also on play. You may discard one. If you do, choose a 3-2 Sora below that we saw before in your waiting room. Add to your hand. Then she is uh, paid to send this card to a waiting room at the start of your climax phase. You may pay the cost. If you do, change this into your 3-2 Sora below. And this turn, that 3-2 Sora gains 1k power. This card... This card makes the whole package so playable because it means you only have to sculpt for a single copy of this card to triple combo. Yeah, it's like usually the issue with like level two early play Nick Soul decks is like you have to uh, you have to sculpt so many cards to get your stuff online and to get it to like actually function correctly. Whereas this this single card plus the fact that the combo is on a bar plus the fact that the combo spawns itself on play makes it so that entire problem is just completely gone. Which is why I think that this whole package is actually a lot more playable than the standard average quote unquote like combo would right. be. Yeah. All right, this card's good. Four four it's four stock or five stock? Five stock? Five stock to triple. Five, for triple? Five stock to triple and you need a we single only card need, hand. Yeah, yeah. One, well, well single two, card sculpted. You, you need you technically need two. You need the climax. You need discard you need one to salvage the three two Sora. Yeah. And you play from hand. Oh, so so what? Three cards, no, right? Because no, you need oh, to have yeah, this card, this plus... card, a card in hand, in the bar. Yeah, hard to discard. For sure, whatever. Yeah, it's really good. Uh, I'd also say it's a three. Like again, I, I think this package has a lot of potential, and it might be really good to play around and really good to build around. But I don't know if it's uh, good enough to be like a four or five kind of card. It's also Sora, and she's cute. Yeah, the two ones also a level assist, but the it, the fact that this card is like a level assist actually kind of makes. <laughs> Yeah, it makes it a little bit awkward because you think it would help like uh, deck slots, but then you want to play other level assists that we'll get to eventually. So then, like, you have like really awkward deck builds where you have to play like three, four level assists to get the package online and then like actually have a good level assist to put behind your Sora. Well, this card also is a level assist that removes itself to try to be a level assist. So, yeah, that's kind of cringe. Right. Next, we have the 00, zero Sora. You can pay one to send this card to waiting room. When your other 0 gen character is sent from state to waiting room, if this is in the back row, you may pay the cost. If you do, return that character in the slot rested until the end of the next turn, it gains 3k power. Uh, it's also a search brainstorm. Oh, salvage brainstorm. I love, I love Mitsuki Saver. Putting it on a brainstorm is actually Koom. Yeah, uh, that the pay one like Pina save effect, give them 3k, like pre they kind of showed, I think anyone that played that deck that that effect's actually like really strong when you can abuse it. But the fact that this card only specifically saves uh, Gen 0 characters makes it a little bit awkward because there aren't a whole lot of good Gen 0 cards that you want to be saving. Rubble go trans. Yeah, so like you can use this to help save like your early play Soras. You can use it to help save your early play Robocos. Uh, if you're playing Suisei combo or the Miko one zero combo, you can like save this to loop them. But like, 
that's kind of it. And then you're giving up like other potential bra like better brainstorms to make the to, to play this card. All right, rating. Uh, it's probably just the two. Like if the if the first check. effect wasn't trait restricted, it would probably be like a four card, maybe a five card. But the fact that it's trait restricted makes it really awkward. All right. Next, we have zero zero Sora. When this okay. card is placed on stage from hand, you may, if you have another whole life character, this gains two K for a turn. So it'll be three five in your turn when it's placed. Uh, you can uh, put the top card you're stocking into clock, and when this card is sent from stage wing, you may pay the cost if you do stitch your deck for up to one cost zero all live characters whose level is equal to your equal to or lower than your level. Place it on the stage in any slot rested and shuffle your deck afterwards. So it's a spawner. I want spawn Ricky. I want to say undead spawn Ricky is kind of like sleeper. The last time we it, saw this, kind of neat. Last time we saw this was uh, Ujimi. They had an undead spawn Ricky. Ujimi had this was a double R in Ujimi. It was a yeah, full metal really? card. It was a full metal pen card, yeah. Chi or uh what's your name? Yeah, it's a zero zero green double R from Full Metal Panic. Oh. I mean I think I don't know. This card seems pretty like the more I thought about it, this card seemed pretty decent. Because like you get to pick the card when it dies, so like put it out on turn it dies and then you spawn whatever you want. Seems okay. Yeah, uh I mean it's it's just basically an on death uh search ricky essentially but it has extra conditions and extra like loops that you have to jump through in order to like get that effect which can like make it awkward or like make situations kind of awkward and then because the timing is on death like you don't get like you don't get the benefit that ricky's would usually give you of like being able to push yourself to level one or level two at any point that you want you'd have to play over this card and then yeah. if you play over it then you, you search out a rested character that does nothing for you yeah, I guess it's also pretty cringe if you get like zero locked and then you can't clock yourself to go to one first. You have to just yeah. like, spawn a zero if you want to use it. Uh, and zero gets spawned and rested. Just play the Aqua Ricky TLDR. Yeah, it, it, if this set was hard pressed for like self clock kind of effects, I think this card would maybe be better, but this set's not really. And I don't think that this card's very good. Like, I think that this is like a one star card. Sad. Sad one star. The face is so strong, though. All right, next we have this double R one zero Miko. If you have another whole life character, this gains two K power, so it'll be five five cross turn. Uh, climbs combo with the standby. If you're when your battle opponents reverse, if you stand by a climbs area, you may salvage one. They gave it a good outfit. That's like Kaide from uh. It, it, yeah, it's literally just Kaide. Button girl. It's dude. The climax art's really good. It's named really good. But in the end, it's just a Kaide, and we all know how Kaide plays out. Uh, yeah, I, <laughs> I don't know. This guy's really hard to talk about. It, it's very, it's very fine, and that's about it. Like the most interesting part is the fact that it climb, it combos with standby. It probably but... is the best level one standby card in my opinion, though. Like, like for eight standby, this would probably be the one I would, I would opt to play over. Yeah, uh, yeah. If you want to play eight standby, you probably look at this card and like try to build around it initially before deciding to like maybe not just play a combo and just play like a more standard eight standby deck. But uh, yeah, this card's not very interesting, and it's it's just kind of okay, I guess. All right, rating. so I think it's uh, probably a two. Dodge two. It's not very. It's not very elite. All right, next we have this 1-0 Robocoat. When this card is placed on stage from hand, you may discard one whole life character. If you do, reveal the top card of your deck. Choose one level extra lower character from the room and add to your hand. Executes the level of the card revealed. When it's attacked, choose one of your other characters. This turn, it gains 1-5 power. Uh, it's often known as Rico. Why does it have to be red? Uh, yeah, this card being red makes it really awkward for reasons we talked about. Also, the fact that you can only discard characters makes like that really good utility effect a lot more awkward than it should be. It's like Rico Don't effect is Rico, please. Rico effect is actual Rico. really strong, but it, one of the reasons why it's strong is because it fixes your hand for you, and this card doesn't fix your hand in the way that you would want a utility card to fix it for you. Yo, but can power pump the Miko that we saw earlier. And to Rico. True, like it does give and it you some your standby targets, dude. 
it does give you extra utility like it, it's also perfectly fine but i think this card's very limiting and the, its limitations make it a lot worse than it probably should be it's it's a card to look at an eight standby though for sure helps you just helps you thin out your like drop standby targets out of your hand and especially if you want to play miko let miko actually kill things right yeah i think it's also probably just a two yeah it's not bad enough to be a one but it's not good enough to be a, a mainstay three also has a really cute art though that smile is really strong next we have this three team miko she is a continuous 2k assist and one play heal one she's also a rest two brainstorm search brainstorm this card's like kind of dope I, I i saw a lot of people wanting to play like the lammy one that we'll get to tomorrow but uh i really like the your 2k assist having the brainstorm effect on it yeah i think this card is uh uh absolutely maybe that's hyperbole. i think this card is really good because it fixes kind of the, one of the main problems that standby has later in the game where uh you hit that point where you need more power cards to build your ideal board, but then you have to give up utility of brainstorms to, in order to do so. And like this card uh, playing the role of both makes makes it so you don't actually have that problem, and you can still keep building your ideal bo ideal board. And then it flexes into being extra healers in the late game. Very very cool card. Also heals if you need to. It's always yep. nice. To have like, the uh, for, as like a standby 3-2 support this is like th this is a card that does basically everything you could want out of it at level 2 and I think that's uh, if standby was a little bit better in this set then this card would be absolutely insane but standby isn't really the best so this card loses some value there alright and what's your rating here? Uh, I think this card's a 3 yeah I'd say it's a 3 if, if 3. standby <laughs> yeah 3.5 3.5p yeah we gave it the point five. let's go yeah, if, if, if like Standby Hollow Live was a better deck, I think that this card would be a four. And then, like, like I'd, I'd actually sit there and think about making it a five, but Standby Hollow Live is a bit disappointing and uh, hard to build around. So I don't think it's as good. All right. Oops. All right, next we have this 1 0 Roboco. While this card is on stage, this card also gains the name Pride Roboco, which is the 0 0 from before. Uh, if you have two more Hull Live characters, this gains 2k power, so 6k cross turn. And it has a uh, pay one at the start of your encore step. You do not have any other rested characters in your front row. You may pay the cost if you do rest this. Just, I think I think you're better off just playing the level 0 Roboco. But well, the so VI glasses are best. You know, so the thing is you can play both. You can, but probably asking a lot of space right yeah yeah like if you do play both then it comes to like you have to start thinking about deck slots because you're giving up a lot of slots just for that merge package which is uh not really the best like, and then this card doesn't do anything else good yeah it's like a, it's a neat oversize i guess it's like a 6k with like the, the encore effect so it wants you to let it die and then use it to merge afterwards but i think you're just better off <laughs> Oh, that's the hard knock card. That's what it was. It's the hard knock card. Yeah, hard knock card. yeah I think the you're better off playing the back row. For the most part, it. I think you're better off just if if you do actually want to play like the Roboco trial deck merge stuff. I think you're just better off at like playing four of the back row and it kind of ignoring this card and playing better level mm -hmm. one cards. Agreed. So I think I'm actually going to say that this card's a one. Badge. Yeah. All right. Next we have this two one Miko. During your turn, this game's. 10k power, so on your turn is 13.5, off turn is only 3.5. Always 35. I'm waiting for the Miko card that isn't 35. Now every Miko card 35. Uh, this profile is relatively new for Weiss, and I, I kind of uh, slept on it until I was like actually playing into it and like watching someone play it, and this profile is like actually really good at dealing with standby decks. Like the way that I read this kind of card or this profile is it's it's a pay one uh standby target removal, regardless of what the standby target actually is. And when you look at a card like that in or when you look at this card in that light, it actually becomes a lot better than I think you initially think about it when you're reading this kind of effect. Because like 13 13 5 is is absolutely insane power thresholds for a single card without any support. And not a lot of standby targets can deal with that if it does have a support behind it. That's actually pretty true. 
Yeah, fourteen five with a climax is like pretty huge. Yes. Too bad it's yeah. red. <laughs> yeah, too bad it is red. The Yo, that, that's a lot of too red. bad this is red cards. Maybe all these red cards are too bad this red should go together, you know? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> just have to play mono red. So, uh, also for what it's worth, they actually reprinted this exact card in green, I think it is, as a magazine promo. Well, we don't know exactly this effect, but it's very likely. Yeah, it, it's very likely this exact same effect, but in a better color. So that also kind of makes this card a little bit worse uh, than it probably should be. Red looked nuts from some of the spoilers, because some of the early spoilers showed a few good cards. But, they, uh, oh, you mean like in general, in White Shores. Uh, yeah, they buffed green and well, green didn't really yeah. get buffed. Green just got more favorable. They started printing better cards in other colors, and they buff yellow. So, so you can yeah. so you can look at this card as like the classic anti EP twelve K, but at the same time, you can also say that this is also an anti level two and an anti level one. Like it 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 can remove any standby target that you want, regardless of what mm -hmm. the level of the standby target you're dealing with is, and all the other forms of board removal like standby removal cards we have in the game look at levels specifically so they're a bit they're more rigid in how you use them you have ones you're anti-level two specifically and then yeah. your two ones are anti-level three specifically which uh like you, you end up having to give up more deck slots to play enough removals to deal with the multiple different standby targets that your opponents can play whereas this card specifically deals with all of it clean slate and you can save deck slots that way all right and it's raining is uh, it's probably also just a two. <laughs> <laughs> wow, you're so cringe. Okay, if it was the green, if it was the green one though, is it a three? Yeah. So, so uh, real talk. If, if it was a better color, I think that this would actually be a three kind of card right now, and maybe even a four if like your meta is is super standby heavy and you want to try to build around like beating standby doors and de beating standby boards and dealing with standby. But because it's in a really awkward color, it, it makes this card a lot worse than it should be. Yeah, this is like, this is literally last also, last two weeks ago <laughs> when we had human. Yeah. Also, just to answer your question, though, uh, it's not that red is is bad. It's that specifically the red cards in Hollow Live are less desirable than other colors. So, I wouldn't I wouldn't say anything about red as a whole in, in Weiss. Red red and, and red and Weiss is usually pretty strong because of standby and whatnot. But yeah, but yeah, cards nuts. Two out of five. Let's go to the next card. <laughs> Next, we have this uh, uncommon 2 1 Robocall. All your other 2 1 Toa Below gains 4k power. He's also Hi, on play. You may pay one, discard one. If you do, search your deck for a 2 1 so Toa Below and place it on the stage in any slot. All right, Ryan. You know, what, you know what to give this card. <laughs> yeah, it's a 1. All right, let's go. Next <laughs> card. Uh, uh, yeah, these, these kind of like. I, I don't even know what we call these kind of packages, but this package is not good. bad. Yeah, it's it's it, it's not very good at all, and like you probably only want to play it if like you want, you really like Robocall and Toa, and that's probably it. I mean, understandable, good taste if you do. It is an Apex combo, yeah. yeah. They are they are Apex fiends. W, no w but you get a two one ten k and a two one eleven k. That's true, but like that's all you get, <laughs> and they don't do anything else. And you can also just like play early plays or like play standby, and you get the kind of you get and the it's same also not stuff a plus. without having to. Like, play mediocre or not mediocre like subpar cards that don't do anything else i mean you're one stock for two for a 10k and 11k it's like okay bad and also one soul sam you never asked me to play pack you're always in your three stack you just need to play once and it was for like 45 minutes all right let's go to the next card all right next we have the zero zero roboco uh on play you may shuffle two whole live characters from your waiting room back into your deck so you can't shuffle climaxes She's one of your whole life characters until the end of your opponent's turn against 1k power. And this card also has effect when you play a climax in your climax slot, you may bounce return this back to your hand. If you do choose one of your characters, and it also gains another 1k until the end of your opponent's turn. I think it's really funny. I think we were talking about this with Carmen like around the time Mushoku came out. Because he was he was asking what have how many cards have they printed that bounce back that give cross turn power? Because cross turn power is like really strong we saw it with like the the toka brainstorm this card gives double 1k cross turn this card's kind of sick yeah uh if anyone's played against standby mushoku they mushoku has like another profile it's somewhat similar where it's a splittable one it's a splittable 2k power pump on a card that bounces back on cx play and 
when you run this profile on standby, it uh, ends up being really good because <laughs> splittable power is really good in standby decks and can help you hit the power thresholds you need to in order to beat your opponent's board safely and cleanly. The only issue that I actually have with this card is the fact that you have to shuffle two cards back in for the first effect to get that 1k power. And like shuffle back is an effect that's very niche good and uh, otherwise it's not very good at all. You can and is yeah, you can shuffle back S Sora. You can shuffle back your Nino three twos. Oh wait, haha. <laughs> yeah, like uh, some sets like have a ways to abuse that kind of effect. Hollow Life kind of doesn't, so it ends up I think being more of a demerit as you play the game going forward mm -hmm. rather than a benefit. Which when makes it's this good, part though. worse than it should be. But yeah, when it's good, it's really good. I do, I do like the fact that it's still just. I think bounceable cross train is bounce to cross train one k is still like probably good enough. So yeah. Want to like look uh, at this card? Ta I talked a lot about about this card. I'm still gonna say it's probably a two. If standby was a little bit better of a shell, this card would be like a three, maybe a four. But standby isn't at the best shell, so I think that this card is going to be underutilized. All right, sounds okay. good. Sounds good. Next, we have this one zero Miko. During your turn, this gains two K. So on turn, it's five five. When this card attacks, you may choose one of your whole life characters. This turn, it gains one level and one K power. Three five thief. This is one of those. Uh, set filler cards that they print as commons and uncommons, and you just kind of look at it and go, oh, that's nice. But it's weird. But Hollow Eye doesn't have a lot of those. It's kind of cringe, actually. I'm flashing a star. Did they guess it right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah this, 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 this card's a one. Uh, you would only, <laughs> so good, Kevin. You'd only probably want to play this if you want to play Elite Miko, and that's about it. Feels bad. Man. Also understandable. Also understandable. Let's remove the star. All right, next we have my favorite girl, 3-2 three, three, uh, three, Suisei. This is your favorite, you poser. One of my favorite girls, I always retweet her fucking art. liar. <laughs> <laughs> if you have four more Hall Life characters, this card can be played without meeting color requirement, and this card gets minus one level in hand. During your turn for each other Hall Life character, this game's 500 power. So if you have a full board, this hits 10-5. If she's also on play, you can maybe discard one. If you do, put the top card of your clock to stock, so a stock healer. I, I thought this card was going to just be like a, an Aqua EP and be whatever. The the no color requirement is so beyond relevant because there's so many cards you want to play that I feel like a lot of Hollow Live decks will end up being two colors. So being able to always play this card when you're not playing blue is like actually cracked yeah so there's there's like two ways you can look at this you can either look at this as it's an objectively worse aqua early play or it's an objectively better aqua early play depending on how the rest of your deck is going and with the way that like the, the hollow life builds that i've been building and trying to test out have been going uh it's objectively better aqua early play like blue i've said red is really bad but blue is also pretty hard to fit in a lot of decks unless you specifically want to be playing like blue combos or blue characters so the fact that this card ignores color makes it extremely more splashable and a lot better than a normal awkward early play would be because it goes in every single deck and the awkward early play is one of the best generic early play profiles in the game we look at like pre kane 2 right where, where like kyaru got it but kyaru is gimped by the fact that she's red and other in the decks don't want to play red they want to play all the other colors that aren't red so that card gets hindered uh this card doesn't have that problem literally ever I, I think this card's like a 1980 2480 card i'm gonna be honest yeah uh i i honestly like or 20 dollar card whatever this card might be too generic to say it's a five out of five but like i honestly think with how i've been looking at this set and building this set i think that this card is a five out of five yeah Five out of five. Like Twenty-five bucks. It it it. Aqua early plays is really generic, but it's really good. And the fact no that this is doing something good. unique I think... for for the profile is, uh, I think, is actually something to like look at and consider as like a mm -hmm. to be playing Hall Alive. Yeah, you. This is like an easy slam three of in like every deck minimum. I think. Yeah, yeah. Like every From single what I've been building I've, at least. All right. Every single deck I've built of Hall Alive has been like you slam three of this and then go move on. We, right. we got we got five. I can press the button. Oh, okay, press the button. <laughs> oh, that's so loud. <laughs> oh, that's so loud. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. <laughs> All right. I'm glad you're happy. Next, we have 00 Suisei. Uh, when your other whole life character attacks, this turn, this gains 1k power. So, if you have two other characters attack, this would be 4k. 
Uh, she's also when this card is sent from stage to waiting room, not on play. Uh, you may pay a cost by just paying one, discarding one climax, and then you do salvage a climax. It's an on death CX I'm, swap. I'm so glad that there is other CX swappers in this set. I would yeah. have been so uh, depressed. <laughs> uh, on death, on death CX swap, I think is not something it's not a profile a lot of people have played with. I, I have played it because it's the only CX swap in Nanoha, and it's absolutely <laughs> horrendous. It, it, it like you read that you read this profile and you go, "Huh, that's kind of interesting." Like you get freedom and flexibility of like fixing your climax, but then you play it and it's absolutely terrible. And the timing is the timing is just so awkward because wanna... it requires you to have the card on stage, already have the climax in your hand, as well as hope to god that the correct climax gets into the waiting room at some point in the time frame where this leaves the board or not and it just almost never works out and then if you need it on turn you can overplay it so then it becomes a pay one drop one drop a climax grab a climax it's sick. yeah like it, when you're in the situations of like oh god i need the right climax this turn now this card literally can't help you and does absolutely nothing and you neg one <laughs> negging one to fix your climax is Unless you're killing your opponent, that turn is almost never going to be a good thing. All right. All right. What's the rating, Ryan? This is a one out of a one right. star. This card's from really a good. From a five to a one. Where's my soundtrack with that? Wah, wah, wah. Wah. All right. Next, we have this zero zero sweet say. When this card is placed on stage from hand, you may pay the cost by discarding one. Choose one of whole life characters in your clock, add your hand. Put the top card of your clock into your um, top part, card of your deck into your clock. So it's a clock swap. Uh, when this card attacks, you may check the top two cards of your deck, choose one from among them, put it back on top of your deck, and send the west to the raiding room. Eh. Yeah. Clock swapper yeah. in blue. I love colors. It's like what? utility that's not really the best. Attack with the second effect that's also not really the best. Then it just kind of makes an overall mediocre kind of card that you probably don't want to play. Man, what is it? I'm so I'm so spoiled by Perikone's Climax Swapper now too, or Clock Swapper. The the unplay on Death Clock Swapper is just oh, so sick. Yeah. Every other Clock Swapper is so stinky. All right. Yeah. Uh, I don't. Yeah. <laughs> I like. I don't really have a lot to say. These are two effects that you would want to see on cards that do something else that are good, and when you put them both together, it doesn't make a good card. And I think this card's also just yep. a one out of five. Sweet, sweet said you went, went so high. <laughs> he picked so early. Just like in a career. What? 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 <laughs> Yo, that's toxic. What the hell? Dude, how can you? See? Her album just came out. Yeah, her album it's just a came out. Uh, it's good. It's good. It's good. All right, we have this two one sweet say. Uh, when you use this card's backup effect, you may discard two cards. If you do, anti-change your opponent's character to the bottom of the deck. It's also a 2-5 counter. So, Ryan, how do you feel about anti-change counters? Uh, this is the only one in the no. set, right? I, 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 yes, this is the only one in the set. I, I usually kind of... I, I tend to speak in hyperbole when I'm trying to like get a point across. I think anti-change counters are horrendously bad right now and an absolute waste of time in deck building and deck consideration. <laughs> And, and and to top it off, discard two anti change counters is literally the absolute worst cost you could ever pay for an anti change counter, and it's almost never going to be good for you. You are never going to get a good transaction where you discard three cards to remove your opponent's early play. Clip it and put it in card games. Thank you. Yeah, sure. You guys can. Oh yeah, there's the height. The talk. Horrendous. Card games are talking about how anti change is good in the meta. It's broken. Yeah. All right, so this is the one. Uh, yeah, uh, I also three think ones, this is one. yo, three ones in a row. Damn, Suisse so is on fire. Say, you were the first one. You were the chosen one. What if my one? opponent is attacking in the wrong order, like a D word? I'm not gonna say. It literally doesn't matter. You, the the cards that you're removing are too efficient to the point where the transaction of three cards for their one card is never worth it. Like you're always gonna be resource net negative, and your only gain is you anti damage them. And I don't think that's like all ever worth it with how the game plays right now. All right. Sorry. Sad. I mean, I, mean, I think I think in a game where three zero is never safe, like it doesn't feel safe very often. It doesn't really matter if you anti damage early on, right? Because it's so easy to catch up, or like the reach and the reach from a lot of the popular combos right now is like so real. All right. So. 
That is it for the zero generation. Oh yeah, stars for Gen Zero. Wait, we're rating the entire gen? If, just, if, yeah, if, just if, now. If you want to. On the spot. That's, that's so bad. Am I supposed to rate it by cards or how much I like them? No, the cards. No. We'll do both <laughs> ratings. Hey, first we'll, we'll uh, rate by card. Uh, honestly, this Gen Zero. If we took is... an average. <laughs> oh. oh my God, it's probably like a two. <laughs> where's, yeah. where's Chad's? Where's Chad's Gen, gen meme? I like that. I like that meme. Gen Zero is pretty. Uh... Wait, why does the slide say Gen One with two stars? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Cause, you're, Cause Kevin's dumb. Nice. Kevin okay. The... That's fine. It's fine. Yeah, Gen Zero <laughs> is. Uh... It is a pretty pretty lackluster, and the only real standout cards are the Sora early, the Sora Nexel combo, and then the Suisei early play. And how about the girl, a uh, gen of girls? All right, yeah. How much do you like the girls? How in much general? is a gen of girls? Uh, Suisei is like one of the best in Hollow Life. I expect that. Uh, I don't particularly like Miko. Uh, Roboco is okay. I like Miko. And Sora, I love. So like girl wise, Gen Zero, four out of five. Good gen. Oh, good gen, good gen. Go on, let's All right, keep going. Let's go. First generation. And if you ever touch your Twitter, I'm now. timing you out. I swear to God. All right. First up, we this TD zero zero Hato. Uh, when this card is placed on stage from hand, choose from your character against two five power. She herself is five hundred power base. Twenty five hundred is a lot of power. <laughs> it is. Yeah. Big power. Yeah. It's it is a lot of power, but that's kind of all it really does. And like sometimes that's what you want in your deck, and sometimes it's not what you want in your deck. So if you want it, you play this. If you don't want it, then it's uh, just a card mm -hmm. that is in the TV. Sorry, I got distracted timing out, Dan. Nice. Yeah. Right. It, uh, this is definitely just a one star. Potato though, so it's it's a half a star. Oh, <laughs> she lost half a star. Yeah. It was bad Name, bad. Named merit. It was bad Ben. <laughs> All right, next we have this TD-00 Matsuri. When this card is placed on stage from hand, you may mill Hits. three cards. And then when this card is reversed in battle, your opponent's level zero lower, you may send a character stock. If you do, pop up the bottom card of your opponent's stock, so a stock bomb. What level zero. Is this? I love Nero, dude. I love, I love Nero bomb. Hey, who's the girl with her in the art, though? That's not a whole love character. That's, um... Haruka. Yeah, she's one of the VTuber girls. Uh... Monster you would play with. I think she's one of the independent girls that she would play Apex with. Don't quote me though. All right. I I would like. What I would I remember that that her playing with that person, but I don't remember them very, very okay, well. Anyway, anyways, uh, this card's neat, and that's kind of. <laughs> I'm not a lollycon. I just th Monster is really cute. Monster is the reason I watched Hollow Live. And those armpits are fucking sick, and school girl, school swimsuits are pretty sick. If uh, it, Ryan. if you're in a meta where you need stock bombs, then you have a stock bomb, and that's kind of all this card. You gotta, you gotta counter the Luna, dude. Like uh, there was a point in time where like optional mill three was a good effect because milling was hard, but in Hall F specifically, milling is not going to be hard for you, especially if you're playing yellow. So I don't think the mill three is very good. So it's literally just a stock bomb. So like. I think for now, this is also just a one star, but it has use cases or potential where it could be like a two star card. Wait, my friend her ZTV not next to our Twitch chat. No, it's not, it's not Neko Mia Hinata. Her swimsuit literally says Haruka. All right, but, we have this TD Zero Zero Hato once again. If you have two or less stock, this game's one five, so two less stock should be 4k cross turn. Well, it's also just a generic like yellow fix plusing zero, which is like usually just okay. But yellow specifically has better options to fix for your plusing zero, so this card becomes a lot worse than it probably should be. Is the TLDR right? And this card's also probably just a one. Sag, sad double ones. Uh, I mean a point five again. <laughs> Please remember to give it the minus five. All right. Five. Next we have this one one Mel. When this card, when you use this card's backup, you may be a top card deck. Was a whole life character add to hand, discard one, two K backup, also known as Leafa Punch. Leafa, Leafa Punch out of ten. Yeah, Leafa Leafa counters are really good. Uh, one one Leafa counters with soul triggers are also really good. Notably, because they works well, really well with uh, choice. 
uh, yeah, I think uh, most people playing the game know that this is a good profile. It is a really good profile if you just want like a utility counter. So it's a uh, it's a two out of ten. Two out of ten. Sorry, two out of five. Oh no, it's a one out of five. No. I had a very long tail. Uh, All right, next we have this. We have two on Matsuri. During your turn for each variant of home life character, this gains one K power. So it's four. It's eleven K. Oh, utter level. Yeah, utter. So it's eleven K. You have a full board. And when this card's battle point is reversed, if the climax in climax area is a whole life character in your waiting room, and you may send it to stock. I almost put this card in my decks. Almost. This card's basically just the two one rider, but it clean stocks instead of blind stocks, which is uh. I don't know. It's little, weaker than the rider. Better. It's, it's, it's a little. Smaller. Yeah, it's a little bit weaker, but it's like the same kind of card. So like yeah. it, it's a uh, anti early play, anti level two standby kind of removal that then can refund itself. But like the fact that this card is kind of small without any support makes it like less than ideal. And I don't think uh, refunding the stock kind of makes up for that uh, issue that it has. All right, ready? So it's uh, a, probably a two out of ten. It's a decent enough card. I just two don't out of think ten. Oh, no. Two out of five. Two out of five. 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 <laughs> Why did people say? What? I had a I had espresso before the stream, and it's you, it's very clearly wearing off. Do you want Do you want a thin mint coffee? I have an extra one. Yeah, he just toss it up there. <laughs> All right, next we have this oh, super interesting card, a three two Hato. <laughs> true, man, true. During the turn, this card was placed on stage from hand. At the start of your attack phase, you may send all other characters from both player stages to the waiting room. If you do, this card gains auto when this, this ability activates up to once per turn. When damage dealt by this is cancelled, you may th deal 3 damage to your opponent. It is also on attack, you may pay 2, discard 2, deal 2 damage. This card's like... I, I, I kept telling people this card was like super splashable in decks because it has like a pretty like solid effect, I think. And then I realized I never want to play this card in decks. I find it really hard to actually play. So there's a there's a few cards in Hall Alive where I still don't actually know if they're broken or really bad yet. And this is actually one of those cards. I think this card is either like absurdly absurd or not good at all. And it I don't think it has a, an in-between. Luckily we have a special rating for that type of card. Yeah, so like you can clear standby. Like it, this is literally the best standby board answer in the game. But it only happens at three, so like the usefulness that you get out of it is a lot worse than it probably should be, and then it makes like the damage that you're pushing that turn a little bit worse than it also probably should be. Well, no, it's like, like identical, right? Uh, it's you, you, you basically have them, like I, three instances of damage. Swing three. You just, swing you just two, don't get the stock out of it. Cancel burn for three. You get, you get two instances of damage plus a cancel burn. So like if you're trying to close the game out and your opponent's like mid level three or like lowish level three, it's okay. But if they're at like three zero or even like two something, then this card's uh really bad. All right, rating three, right? <laughs> Wait, that's that's oh our that's our rating system, but okay, that is the rating system. Yeah, it's it, it it's a three. Uh, it, this card's probably really splashable, and you can very easily tech one of it. And then in matchups where it's really good, it's really good. In matchups where it's not really good, you can just ignore it and then like stock it away with a choice or something. All right, sounds good. Good thing I got you into that. <laughs> got him. Uh, continuous assist five hundred and act. You may pay one, discard a climax, and then salvage character. Wait, why'd you choose this? I played. I played this effect as a two one in Grisaya, and it was like okay. Yeah, people play this back in Bang Dream set one. That That's part of it. I, part of, awesome. I played it with standby stuff though. Uh, so I actually included this card because notably Hollow Live actually has a lot of, or Hollow Live can have really bad proactive ditch outs and this is one of the best proactive ditch outs that you can be running in your deck actually so if you're playing something like eight bar or like eight pants or bar pants or whatever then like you can play this and it gives you a proactive way to get rid of all your climaxes if you get flooded too much while also being like pretty good utility all right rating uh it's probably just a two out of yeah two out of five 
I, I think this card's pretty good. It's easily splashable. It's not super amazing though. Great. Sounds good. Next we have this uh, TD00 Aki. Uh, when this card is sent from the station waiting room, you may pay one and then choose a whole life character in your waiting room, put it underneath your clock. If you do, choose a whole life character in your waiting room and add it to your hand. So, like a, it's like a Krista. On Death Ricky, on Death Krista, this card seems okay. Yeah, it's also just kind of okay. Uh, uh, very awkward timing makes uh, the Ricky effect pretty bad. And then it being a Salvage Ricky itself is also pretty bad. And then you can also kind of like run into really weird edge cases where like if you have a really good opening hand, you don't maul anything. You can't even use this card. <laughs> you can't. Even, yeah, you can't even use this effect because then like you have to you have to clock this card specifically in the inventory targets. So it's just a little bit awkward. So I think uh, it's probably just a one. Sad. Next, we have this 1-0 Fubuki. During your turn, if all your characters are whole live, this gains 2k power, so 6-5 on your turn. Uh, when this card's battle opponent is reversed, if you have the bar CX in your climax area and you have another whole life character, you may discard one. If you do, search for two whole life characters. Oh, not search. Salvage two whole life characters from your waiting room and add to your hand. I want, like... It's just worse than Chizuru. <laughs> I keep telling people that. Like, I would just rather play the one in uh, Kanokari, and that card was not very good. So, so uh, I mentioned this with Gen, Gen Zero, but every gen has that specific draw, uh, Brainstorm 5 draw that gives the combos one power. So, like, we didn't include it that on this slide, but it's like the same kind of ideal. So, this card can be even bigger than it's just printed for what it's worth. Uh, I actually am a fan of this combo. Like, I think it's pretty decent. Like, it's relatively huge. And uh, Ditch 1, Salvage 2 is, like, a pretty good payoff to actually getting reverses at level 1. It's just, uh, like, you still have to kind of play around reverses at level 1, which is a little bit awkward and not necessarily the best. So unless, like, you need to specifically sculpt your hand for a whole bunch of very specific cards at level 2, then I think that this is not the ideal... Uh, level one combo that you want to be playing, but if you are playing some sort of deck that wants to sculpt a whole bunch of very specific cards for level two, uh, then this is maybe the best combo in the set that you uh, that you that you could actually be playing. All right, rating. I actually think that this is a three out of five. Like I think it's a, a fairly decent combo, especially for a TD. It's like very easily to very easy to pick and play around. Nice, nice. Right, next we have this TD 3 2 Aki. On play, you may heal one, and then on attack, with the bar CX in your climbing stair, you may pay two, discard one, deal two damage to your opponent, and it gains one extra K. Deal four. Oh, deal four, deal four to your opponent, and then this card gains one K for the turn. <laughs> so it'll be. I love Sinon. So yeah, you, <laughs> you swing for 12K with the CX. Yeah, it's literally just C it's Sinon, but it doesn't have the memory thing, so it doesn't get as much power. Yeah. Very cool. Uh, like it's also kind of like a perfectly fine enough combo to build around, but it's not really an ideal level three combo. So if you wanted to build around Aki for whatever reason, then here you go. You have a playable combo for Aki Rose. Yeah. Uh, it's probably just a two out of five. Big sad. <laughs> right next Aki we though. have this one zero Hall Life first generation event. Uh, mill two, choose a level one or uh, choose one level extra lower whole life character from the waiting room. Add to your hand. Execute the sum of the levels of the cards sent to the waiting room by this effect. So it's often known as a cigarette effect. Cigarette. Cigarette effect. Tobacco. Hey, do we even have a? No. Is it tobacco? Do I need plural? I need plural. Cigarettes. Yeah. That's not even the name of the card. Two tobaccos, dude. Come on. <laughs> It'll work. I... Uh, it's a good event. Like, the, the effect you're getting out of seems kind of inconsequential, but it gives you a little bit extra mill to help you hit refresh timings, and it gives you a uh, fairly decent like selection in order to better fix your hand. And usually, like this kind of card being an event makes it worse, but this set actually has pretty decent ways to play around events and like actually get this event realistically at level 1 with like a a level one or higher cheery and a plus and level one combo that can also pick up events. So this card becomes 
a lot better than it should be because it has that support that can help enable it and make it work correctly. Too bad they didn't get the card like the gamers one did. So yeah, it's not technically bondable, but you do have ways to be able to pick it up uh, out, outside of just drawing it, which does like actually make this card a whole lot better than it probably should be. Like you can mm -hmm. use this card to convert a uh, no, check three combo into a uh, quote unquote selective salvage combo, which I think is pretty valuable. All right. Yeah, I mean this card is this card is good. Tobacco is always like a pretty decent event. Yeah, uh, this is also a three out of five. Very good for when you're playing a combo that has no real selection, like Omaguro. So, I kind of like this card with Okayu more than the the gamers one, honestly. But all right, next we have this double R zero zero oh, mod three. Uh, you may act rest this to choose one of your level one or higher characters this turn against one five power, and it's also a salvage yeah salvage brainstorm app self. The I don't I don't know how I feel about the power effect. The power effect's super relevant for what this gen is trying to push, but uh, it's really weird because like it mucks up your your desire to brainstorm, and I, I find it hard to believe there'll be times where the power is relevant and you don't also want to brainstorm in that turn. Yeah, the counter argument for that though is that like you don't always brainstorm every single turn. Oh my! Nice. <laughs> no, I'm so Wait, sorry. Well, save, save that. Save that till next gen, Ryan. Come on. Uh, oh oh oh. But, my uh, bad, my bad. Yeah, uh, yeah. like you, you don't always brainstorm every single turn. So the fact that this has like an, like another like consistently relevant uh, piece of text you, makes so this card don't. a lot more desirable than it probably should be. You don't, but again, it's the it has to line up that I think you don't want to brainstorm and the power is relevant in that turn, right? Because there'll be times where you rest this for power and the power is not actually relevant. You know, when uh, you're playing the Gen One cards, then sure maybe because we're gonna see there's a lot of act support. But in any other deck that isn't pushing these act cards, like, I don't know how often the 1500 is going to be that relevant. Yeah, that's like one of the things you consider. So like if you're playing one of the on reverse combos, it's relevant. If you're playing one of like the multiple not on reverse combos, it's not really relevant. Uh, but it is a, it, it is a top self salvage brainstorm, which uh, is it's good. It's the only other one. Yeah. It's literally the only other one in the, in the set, so. Yeah, all the other like good brainstorms that we're going to see coming up are all search. So, and like... Not every deck wants to search brainstorm, or like not every deck actually wants to play around a search brainstorm. So this being the premier salvage brainstorm makes it a lot better as well in that regard. Yeah. So uh, probably also just a three. Nice, nice. Uh, good enough. Yeah, good enough card, but uh, it not pr probably not the ideal brainstorm for this set. Yeah, this brainstorm would be really good, but there's so many good brainstorms in set. Mm hmm. Unfortunate. Next, we have this 3 2 Matsuri. On play, you may pay the cost by paying one. If you do, your opponent sends all of their stocks to the waiting room and then put the same amount of equal number of cards from the top of the deck back into stock. So, we often call this a stock swap. Uh, this ability activates up to once per turn. When you use an act ability, this, this turn, this card gains X power. X equals the number of your opponent's back row characters times 1k. So, if your opponent has two back row characters, this gains 2k and we 12k per turn. Level three stock swap, kind of lit. Having access to stock swap is always just a good thing, because uh, like stock swap effect is like when you go into tournament, it, it's always something that's going to be relevant, and showing your opponent that you have <laughs> stock swap can change the game drastically. What the fuck, Kevin? Oh my god. <laughs> yeah, uh, I don't stock, understand. Stock swap's a good effect. You, if you play yellow, you probably splash this as a as a. Oh, of, Canada, kind of right? Today. Canada calling stock swap stock bombs kind of cringe that's not uh, that's not, that's not a that's, that's, that's not a vancouver that's thing a, with the uh, that, dc thing that's a vancouver yeah. thing mm, yeah this also a three out of five perfectly splashable card yeah. if you just, play yellow, i think you're you gonna find play. you will find well unless you play the aqua but you will probably find there'll be less times where you want to use this card compared to like the level zero variants but being able to threaten it is better than not being able to threaten it because when you play things like Quince with no stock swap, <laughs> it's really depressing. It's, I, I love it when I'm a phone and plays a deck without stock swap and sit there and be like, oh. Yeah, you, when you, when I play, every time I play Quince, <laughs> I had to play against like 10 event million live. And I sat there and I'm like, he's going to just free farm stock and I can't, I can't do anything. I can't do anything about it. It's very spooky. 
All right, next we have this 3-2 Mel. One play you can pay one and salvage a climax, and it's also a level zero shift. That's a 10-5 power for some reason. Spoiler alert, there's a card that does this better in the set. There, there's a TD card that does this better and has a better other effect. And this card's an SSP, by the way. I don't know, it feels bad for everyone that opens cases and pulls this. Yeah, I think this, I think this is actually the cheapest card in the set, in the uh, cheapest SSP so far. Yep. The, like this, this and the Aki. Yep. Uh, it also doesn't help that Mel is one of the least popular girls, which yeah, feels really, really bad. She's really don't jinx her redesigns. Dude, really I'm opening five cases. I'm I'm like fairly confident I'm pulling at least two Mel's. Don't say okay, this. Okay, anyways, yeah. <laughs> this is a one out of one out of five. Uh, oh. there, there's an, there is a better Climax Salvage level three in this set in a TD. So if you want that effect, you play that card, not this. White people sad. <laughs> White people sad. All right, next to this one zero mail is that ability activates once per turn. We use an active effect. This gains one five power, so it'll be six k. And the following effect: when this card attacks, you may reveal top clear deck. If it's level one or higher, send it to stock. This card. This is the reason you play the monster brainstorm. Like actually, this this is the reason. Yeah. This is your. Uh, this card is is very sick. On act stock charge isn't really a uh, unique thing or a new thing, but this this version of it is actually I think completely brand new, right? I'm I don't think this sure. ever been nope, before. never been printed before. Been printed. This yeah. is the first step that has both of the effects that do this. Yeah, and like this new version of on uh stock charge is kind of insane because you don't need to reverse. <laughs> you don't need to reverse, and it's not blind. Like you have complete information, so you know exactly yeah, what card you're losing. And there's the there's the coronet that we'll go over that helps this card as well yeah so you have like uh, good synergy cards like the only the only actual downside to a card like this is the fact that it is on act and the only like realistic uh free act that's good is the monster brainstorm which we just talked about oh the other, which, the like, other and, and also just also just brainstorming in general though. unlike other yeah, act, yeah, yeah unlike yeah. other act stock chargers you can't use this defensively and use a counter you can't, you no can't counter yeah, yeah, that that is one of the also demerits is you can't counter it. But I think like I think, that's okay. I think not needing to reverse and like having information on what you actually stock is potentially better than being able to counter your one zero and get it a stock, stock out of it. Climax, it doesn't stock climaxes too, so you always yeah. get your climax effect. No, and this, this thing really... is also it also gets free power. Yes, I think this card is really good actually. Uh, if hmm. there were better acts or like act package was a bit more supported in the set, this would probably be a four. But uh, for now, it's probably just a three. Sounds agreed. good. That's a lot of agreed, threes agreed. for Gen 1. <laughs> All right, next is 10 0 Matsuri. Uh, this ability activates up to once per turn. When you use an act effect, this gains X powers. X equals to the number of your whole life characters times 500. So if you have a full board and you use an act, she gains 2k. So she, no, number of your, not even our, she, she gains 2-5. It should be 7k. 7-5. 7k, 7k. 7 5 7 7 7 7 7 7 7 It's your, isn't it? It's 4 or 5. She gets 2k plus a climax. No, she gets 2 5. Oh. You're right. Yeah. 8k. Oh. Climax is common when this card attacks. If you have a choice CX in your climax area, you may reveal top player of the deck. If it's a whole life character or the first generation event, you may add 10. This combo's really bad. Like. William combo. It was so system. good until it wasn't. Yeah. The power uh, effect so good. The, the combo effect so stinky. Yeah, combo's really bad. And like, it's not like this that is like hard pressed for other budget options that are actually better Sorry, than this. Yeah. So it's uh, it's really hard to sell this card. And then like, even as a like a costless like walling level one game, uh, not not also good enough in a set that has eight standby. True. So uh, unfortunately, this is a one out of five. Oh. That was so big, though. Uh, it's so big. <laughs> it case so big. All right, next to it is 2-1 Mel. This ability activates once per turn. When you use an act ability, this turn, this gains X powers. X equals to your number of other whole life characters times 500. So this one only gets 2k, so it'll be 9-5. Uh, climax combo. When this card's battle opponent's reverse, if there's a choice CX in your climax area, you may look at the top two cards of your deck, choose up to two whole life characters from among them, send them to stock in any order. And then I uh, salvage one. It's kind of like Kirito from Alice 2, but worse. Yeah, a lot worse than that Kirito. And like, 
that Kirito was a really damn good combo, or is actually yeah. a really damn good combo, yeah. and this is just like a worse version in every single regard. Doesn't give it you just... deck speed. It only it can miss on the stock. Yeah, yeah, you can miss on us. You, you miss on the stock in a set that wants to be playing events for the most part. Which it's is not also a better climax kind of really though. Bad. Yeah, choice is better than Stockswell. Like, if you could maybe early play this, or like, if the combo was a little bit better, or maybe just like exactly like Kirito, this would actually probably be like a good option to think about. But it's uh, saying it, Chief. Also, story, uh, story of Mel's life. Also, a one out of five. <laughs> Did Mel even do two? Mel, poor Mel. All right, next we have zero zero Mel again. Uh, when this card is placed on stage from hand, you may pay one, discard a whole life character, choose up, look up the top four oh, cards in your deck, copy. choose up to one card from among them, and add to hand. What do you guys call this? We call it Cosma for four. Rumia. Rumia. I call it Cosma for four. four. Rumia. Okay, yeah. Uh, it's like perfectly fine utility. It's like a two out of five. Not really a whole lot to talk there's, about. There's another, wait, there was, a, there was another Cosma that was like better though. Yeah. Uh, yeah, but being yellow and being able to check four is like worth it on, or it's like worth considering on its own. And is they, it? I don't like, think being yellow ability. matter for this because like there's so many other good yellow cards. I feel like this would be better in worse colors, Oof. right? Eventually, yeah, you could also plus, you also don't like Kazumas. What the fuck? Uh, yeah. You literally said you hate Kazumas. Yeah, I'm not a fan of this profile, but I'm not gonna let my bias. Uh, cloud my judgment and saying that. Is that all this is? Really fine, fine that's all this. That's all this thing is. It's just your biases. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I didn't know this was a nail Uh, feels bad, man. Mel is <laughs> Mel. And Mel's actually one of my favorites. I love well. Mel. It's it's like, really, her redesign really was so powerful. All right. Yeah. <laughs> the vampire, oh no. Alright, oh. we have Mod 3 with a pacifier. If you have five more cards in hand, this gains 2k power, so she's 4k cross turn. You have four more hands. Oh wait, this is wrong. This is during your turn. I tried. Yeah, I was gonna say, I'm like, wait a minute. Yeah, during your yeah, turn, you have five more hand, and this gains 2k, so it's on your turn. 4k hard on card, I've been kind of cracked. And it's, uh, yeah, hard on encore. So pay one and start your encore step. You do not have any rest of characters in your front row, you may rest this. Alex, I'm gonna I'm gonna send you every copy of this that I own. This card is also really bad. <laughs> it's not even a plusing yeah, zero, or it, it's a plusing zero in like the worst way possible and does nothing Stock else. Plus. Woo. It's it's just a one out of five. Yep. One for mental age. Next we have this. That's not Luna. Double R zero zero Fubuki. When this card is placed on stage from hand, you may choose one of your all life characters. This turn gains one five power. When this card is sent from stage to Wavy, you may pay the cost. If you do, look at the top four cards of your deck. Choose up to one level one or higher card from Hollow, among them. Hollow Show it to your opponent and add to your hand. This is also known as a... Fuka! Fuka! Woo! Okay, it's Fuka. They're trying to push Fuka, <laughs> but I'm still going to call it Cheery. <laughs> one and higher Cheery! Woo! Yeah, this, this is... This card's good. good! This card's real good! Uh... Woo. I think uh, my exact words when this card was spoiled was I think that this is the best Chiari that I still think that's been you undervalue. Today. I still think you undervalue the top check for two K. Yeah, uh, so so the the competition is between this and the Gochiusa one that also just came out, and they do like the exact same thing where they're uh, a Chiari, which is a really good effect, on top of a power so, pump, which is also a really good effect that scales throughout the entire Fuka, game, so right. you don't have to play. Like, a, I think, you don't have to play a dead card to... Unironically, in the context of this set, knowing everything we know without going over all the cards, I actually think you would prefer the Gochiusa one in this set. So but, um, events I think there's a lot of cards where the top check would have been relevant. But you can yeah, work with so, events, though. Yeah, so... The, the Hol I've said this as well. Hollow Life is like a set that probably wants to play events, so like the top check variant of this effect has fail cases whereas like in go to it doesn't have a fail case so it is better true okay true. okay but any back, back to this card yeah the, it, this card's insane yeah like cheery is a, an amazing card early game and it's like a fairly decent card in like the mid game to uh help set up your hand 
help give you the deck speed, help hit refresh timings. And then the fact that it has another effect that's consistently relevant throughout every single point in the game makes this card absolutely insane. Like you, you're always okay with playing this card down. You're always okay with having this card in your deck. Very good. Easy the only four time, The Easy only time you don't five. want this card is if you're playing the, the Subaru will go over. It's like the only time you probably don't want it. Or it's like more contestable to play. But yeah, this card is still good. Four out of five. Especially with all the with all the revert on reverse stuff in the in the set. All right, next we have this one one Aki. She's a level assist to Hall Life characters, and this activates up to once per turn. When you use an active ability, you may look at the top two cards of your deck, choose one card from among them, put it back on top of your deck, and send the rest to your raiding room. Stinky. Wait, so that you if you use a, if you use a counter in your opponent's turn, you can mill one. Yeah, you gotta, you, yeah, you, so so leaf a counter technically gives you the. Too. You get a scry and then a top check too, so you can technically go two cards on a leaf account. It's not check top two rearrange, just check top two, keep one on top, send the other to waiting room. Yeah, it's your leaf yeah. counters can so, be a double. That's what I'm saying. Leaf counter gets to go through two cards. Yeah. Because you have to resolve leaf first, so you leaf for the top, and then if it's not a climax, you add the card, ditch the card, and then you can do this to look at top two, keep one, ditch one, so you get to go through a second card. So you, you, there is technically a fail case of two climaxes in the top two cards of your deck but you don't have That's to look at two you you can look at one so if you look at one and see a climax you can kind of just stop and ignore this effect <laughs> you're like i'm not risking it nope yeah yeah but if you do see two climaxes you would have to get rid of one but <laughs> regardless like it, yeah, this whatever. is like a complimentary card that you would play in like an act package and the act package is not good enough to uh justify playing so this card isn't good enough to kind of justify so i think yeah. that this is uh this card would be crazy if if like this, this if, thing that supports this was better. Yeah, so like if the act package and like the act cards were good or like there was like an actual reason to be playing act cards, then this card I think would also be kind of insane, but there isn't a good reason to be playing act oh, cards. Oh wait, this he's card... right. If you look at one, you have to discard it, right? No, 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 no. You choose one among them, put it on top. So you, yeah. you don't have to, if you look at one, that card goes on top because it's it. you choose one to put on top, you don't choose one to mill. Yep. So you can look at one and stop. So yeah, like I don't yeah. think this card's good enough on its own to justify an entire act package to get it to work. So I think it's yeah. just a two out of and five. Like, I mean, it's cool with Leaf a Punch. Like, but man, if only the mod trade level one was so much better. Oh, yeah, act yeah. stuff would be insane. Yeah, if you had if you had more of a reason to play into act that isn't just the Mel, which Mel only requires a small act package. Next to Cardo. All right. Next we have the three two Fubuki. If you have two or less climaxes in your way room, yeah, this card gets minus one level in hand. For each of your other Hall Life character in your back row, this gains five hundred power. So double back row to be ten five cross turn. And it's on play heal one. Yeah. So it's the Saren EP. Um, cards fine, I think. It's just like I never wanted to play this card a lot of the time when I could just play Fubuki when I could just play the Suisei. Kind of uh, felt. Yeah, so the like th this is a pretty good early play package, but uh, two or less climaxes is like Shit. <laughs> not not the best uh, condition for an early play. But like this card is a really good early play and a really good color. So like you can play this alongside the Suisei and have like four or five early play healers to have like a really strong stable mid game, and you'd probably not have any problems with that. But like this card mm -hmm. isn't uh, outstanding beyond that. I think it's just a three. Very yeah. solid. If you, if you really if you really want the healers, uh I think Fubuki plus Suisei is like a three two split. It's pretty reasonable, but Yes. Like a lot of the decks that I built end up having like two Fubuki, three three Suisei, they, or a lot of mine started that way, but I, I started cutting Fubuki in some of them. Green is such but a splashable yeah. color too. Yeah, green green is like one of the better colors in the set, so all right, <clears throat> next with a zero zero Aki. When this card is placed on the stage from hand, choose one of your level two or higher characters this turn against 3k power. And when this card is placed on the stage from hand, you may discard one card, choose a whole life character in clock, add the hand, put the top card clock back into the I mean, top card, your deck back into clock. It's a clock swap again. I said this was Suisse. Suisse, right? Yeah, Suisse. Uh, the clock swap effect is only good if it's tied to another really good effect, and th this other effect is not really good. It's pretty mediocre. 
So I, this is a one out of five. Three K so much power though. Right. A lot okay. of power. It's a lot of power in like a very limited time frame, and like yeah. And they can make a small body as well in that time frame. All right, next we have the zero zero flu key. When this card is placed on stage from hand, reveal the top player deck as a whole live character or event. This turn, this does not suffer soul penalty when siding. Um, when it's attacks, choose one of your when choose one of your other characters. This turn it gains X power. X equals to your that character's soul times one thousand. Trug. Card's okay. If uh, like if you're playing an honor verse combo, this card's really good because it helps. It can help like give your combo the power thresholds that it needs to actually get the reverse and like standby matchups or whatever and like the fact that it's other effect makes it side for free means that you can actually like play this at level one play it at level two and then not have to give up a lane to uh, get the power out of it so it is a little bit better than like it probably reads but it's still not really the best i think it's just a two out of five yeah this car is kind of like the Kermi pr that's like super expensive now what? The Kermit PR that lets you side with the cell penalty and pump something oh, on attack. Sure. The card that was only expensive is a Charlotte? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Alright, next we have this 1 0 Fuvik key. When this card yeah, attacks, yeah. all your other character red. gains the. Uh, all your characters gains the following ability until the end of your turn. Uh, discard one. When, oh, when this card trigger checks, reveals a climax, you may discard a climax if you do choose a whole life character in waiting room. Add to your hand, so salvage. And when this card is reversed, the battle opponent is cost zero lower. You may clock kick it, and then uh, so you no know, clock clock bomb. Yeah. So this is like the card from Precone that saw play in every eight bar deck. Uh, it was really good in there. Granted, that card was a Shimakai. This being a bomb probably makes it a little bit worse, but I think just having that the the, the ditch climax salvage effect is just so relevant. Yep. Uh, that is just when, probably an auto include if you play bar or like bar pants. Yep. If you're playing like bar climaxes are really ideal in this set. Uh, pants climaxes can be really ideal in this set. Uh, so this gives you a way to like filter those triggers into into plus like better plusing triggers if you don't actually need the climax. So if you play eight bar bar pants, eight pants, whatever, this is probably an auto include. And in that regards, like I think this card's really strong, really good. All right. Yeah. Rating. Uh, so the, art's all, the art's also rad. <laughs> What's she doing? Uh, very easy. Three out of five. What sort of flavor text? Fubuki Chan. Fubuki Fubuki Chan. Question mark. Yeah, yeah, it's good. It wasn't her saying it. All right. One zero Aki. This ability activates up to once per turn. When you use an act effect, this gains X power. X equals to the number of your whole life characters times five hundred. So it gains two fives. So It'll be seven K. And you can act the rest of your whole life characters this turn gains 1k. So she can pump oh, herself like up the, to 8k. the Yuna card. Yeah. Yeah, Yuna, Yuna had this card because they had that other card that said when you use an act, it, it like gets the honor first check to add one. Yeah, this card sucked. <laughs> this is also one of those like... It was just an cards. act. It was a card that said act. So you played it. Yeah, so like the only upside to this card is like if you are playing Act Package, this gives you another Act uh, for the turns that you Monstery Brainstorm already. And that's like mm -hmm. all it does, but like <laughs> Act is not it. So this is a yeah. 1 out of 5. Act is not it. That ain't it. It ain't it, Chief. Sag. Next card. Alright, next we have this 3 2 Aki. This is one of my favorite cards. If you have one yeah. less card in your hand, this gains 10k power. So if you 18k, you have one less card in the hand. It is also a bodyguard, and when this card attacks, you may discard three cards. If you shoot, bounce one of your opponents. Oh, shoot! Send one of your opponent's characters to waiting room. I love infernities, dude. <laughs> I love having no hand to get an 18k. This is also one of those cards where I'm not actually certain if it's like super absurd or super uh, not playable. <laughs> <laughs> I also think it kind of has like no middle ground. It's either really absurd or really bad. But like I think yeah. the fact that like the meta is very is teched very heavily to remove board cards because standby is so prevalent makes me want to lean more towards this card is not very good. And it will only be good if your local meta that you're playing in specifically doesn't have to deal with a lot of standby and then in turn doesn't play a lot of like standby removal cards or like bounce cards or whatever it can. Yeah. It's just like if a card like this becomes good, 
then cards like the CIP bouncers become relevant again. And the second those are relevant again, this card's bad because the payoff to this is you need no hand, otherwise it's a rel it's a shit card. And then you're just in a bad spot because if they win this, then you have like a one to two card hand and you're like, huh. Yeah. I played for the I played towards this card and I was punished. Yeah. So, so you yeah. have to basically play the hot toe card we're gonna get to. But I think it's just I, like a two out of five. Honestly. Kind. Like it, it it might be it might be really good and then it might not be really good very soon right after. <laughs> good job, Kevin. <laughs> I opened up the <laughs> rules. You're the new you're our new nice but our new night but uh night bot. All right, Devil R zero zero Hato. I forgot this card was Devil R. When this card attacks, choose one of your whole life character. When choose one of your other whole life Wait, characters. Like this turn gains one K power. When this is reversed, look at the top three cards of your deck. Choose up to one climax from among them and add it to your hand. If you added a card to your hand, you have to discard one. Unironically, if this was a reason, this would just be so much better. Yeah, uh, like Kome style effects are pretty good when they're on play and not on reverse. On death is like, even better. Yeah, even on death is better than on reverse because like the timing is so awkward and bad to get a climax fix that it makes it hard to justify. So like, yeah. like the like the only real use case for this card is like you try lane at level zero with this, and then you use it to try to get your level one climax while your opponent's attacking into you, which like isn't always even a good thing depending on how the game's going. <laughs> and like the other effect, the other effect like. Kind of makes it a little bit better in that situation, but it's not good enough to justify. Nope. So, like, I, I think that this is. Uh, am I harsh in saying it's a one? Because I no. think it's a one. No, like, it's also hot though, so I agree. Dude, what's wrong yeah, with hot though? <laughs> these broke everything. Are so bad. <laughs> Sorry, she's not hot though. She's hot, Chuma. If she was hot though, she'd be more tolerable. Is there a point five out of ten? Yeah, actually, point five. All right, I like this card though. One zero Hato. She's a one five backup, well as well as a Salvage Brainstorm. Absolute Salvage. Right, Captain, you want, to, you want me to hit you with it? The card's red. I'm sorry. Yo, slot efficiency though. I love it. Yeah, but it's red. You're never gonna want to play the card down. Yeah, this card's like actually really sick because it's super slot efficient. Like you get to play counter level one counters in like a standby deck and also have a brainstorm out of it, which is like. I actually, I think has a lot of merit in itself. It's just like color's really awkward, and yeah, that that that's my thoughts on it. Maybe maybe this card is really good, but like red hollow life isn't it. So if this card ever gets reprinted in another set in a relevant color, then this card might or like this profile might be insane. Or or you get this the chains to a different girl on a different color. Yeah, dude, maybe. I am a level one polka in this. Come on. Yeah, I sleep. Okay. Yeah, I think that this is just a two out of five. Oh, it hurts. Ryan Coon generous. Yeah, every time I do one of these streams, there's always one card that just hurts. They tell me Sorry, the truth. Sorry, Kevin. Just get a. Uh... Yeah, <laughs> don't tell you the truth. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Yikes. Three, two, hot toe. When this card is placed on stage from hand, you may heal one. Uh, Zed ability activates once per turn. When you use an active ability, this gains X power. X equals to the number of your other Hall Life character times 1k. So it'll be. Gains 4k via full bar, so it'll be 13k. A uh, climax yeah. combo with the door on attack. If you have the door CX in your climax area, you have four more out of Hall Life characters. You may pay a cost if you do. You have one damage to your opponent and then salvage one. Ryan, can I get your rating? Sure. Is it a one? No, it's not Damn. actually. Yeah, screw you, Jason. So not all Hall Life cards. So bad. Cards this card's one. so bad. I, I hate so, I hate this fucking combo. Yeah, so obviously this isn't like a very ideal top end combo. It's not something you're probably like ideally want to be building into, but I don't think that means it's not not actually like a perfectly fine playable card. Like I think you could like very easily play like some sort of eight deck or sorry, eight door or like Bro. door truth. Uh, like super he compression heal loop heavy kind of. Deck. I and played this in Steins Gate, Ryan. It's not a hit. It's so bad. Yeah. I think this. I think this card is playable, not ideal. It's a two out of five. You're so kind. Oh God, the Ferris and the, the Ferris was so bad. That card was on a standby, so that card was free to play. <laughs> All right, we got two on Hopto. Uh, when you use this card's backup, you may discard four Hall Life characters. If you need choose one opponent's character, rest it, and it's a two five backup. That's uh, a one out of five. <laughs> it's so expensive. Yeah, it, like 
Dude, but it five, plays towards your Aki. Ditch five to tap a card is like not a, a good trade Yo. <laughs> to be making. Well, even if, even if like it gives you another turn to live, like you have you blow all your resources and you probably have nothing else to but be playing. Plays, but, but it plays towards you, you, your bodyguard, you can, dude. You can salvage it with this hot toe. And then you play yeah, down. You, you have the you hand. Play down, you you have you the play hand. down double. <laughs> you play down double Hato plus Aki. Oh. You combo. You put this in your hand. You have all the cards to ditch, and then you make your Aki an 18k, and you rest a dude. <laughs> and you then you top deck the bar next turn. And you slam the bar, and you're like, yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm so good at this game. <laughs> all right, we'll keep it at one. All right, that is it for. Gen 1? Quick, overall Gen 1 rating, cards kind of suck in Gen 1. I'm going to be real. Agreed. Like, the only good cards in... Or, like, there, there's a few standout cards that are worth considering, but as a whole package, it's pretty mediocre. All right. Gen 2! All right. Gen 2, we're starting it off with TD00 Choco. A character across from this cannot move to another slot, so it's an anti-runner. And with this card attacks, choose one of your whole character. This turn gains 1-5 power, so you can pump herself. They set us three anti runners. Sheesh. Yeah. Uh, this card could maybe be notable. Oh. You're good. No. Oh, Canon internet. This Later. card would maybe be notable if the set didn't have better anti runners, but the set does have better anti runners, so this is just a one out of five. All right. Go, go next. What? All right. TD, one star IMA. If you want to hold up character, this gains 1k power, so be 5 5 cross turn. When this card attacks, you have if you have the Dorsey X and Climate and you have another hold up characters, look at the top four cards of your deck. She's up to one level one or higher card from among them. Show it to your opponent at your hand. Card's kind of whatever. It's the first time I... we've seen a level to hire Magro, though. Mm, Gobuta. Is it? Gobuta. Yeah. Gobuta? Yeah. Gobuta was yeah. one of this, really? Yeah, yeah Gobuta's one. Well, Actually, what climax was he on? Book. 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 Oh. Yeah, I actually think that this combo yeah, is like pretty good actually. It, it, it's not like the best combo, it's not ideal, but like, events, it, it, it's it's extremely playable. It grabs events, it's on a, an amazing trigger. It's the it's a uh, good power line cross turn that you can play around, but it's in the worst color in the set. And warning, this card's ability to whiff is also really high though. Yeah. Yeah, this card can also whiff. Like you can whiff your plus in combo, which is like a huge uh <laughs> I mean Issue. How many times have you missed Rudy? Have you with Rudy Ryan? How many times have you with Rudy? More times than I want to admit. <laughs> <laughs> All right, uh, like, I think this is a two out of five. Okay. All right. So thank good. you, Slip sixty four, for the follow. Oh, that's... Woo, thank you, Slip. All right. Next, we have this two one IMA. It's a level six and act risk this draw one, discard one. Good card. Good effect. Rich, right? Yeah. Uh... Slime, slime kind of showed that like nope. the, the, this kind of back row support like is actually really good. I think that this card is also really good. It's like a really uh, powerful <laughs> mid to late game utility ditch out event or ditch out effect. It's just in, it's in a horrendous color, and the horrendous color makes it almost unplayable. So I also think this is unfortunately a one out of five. Oh, that's a one, not a two. I guess strong. All right. Yeah, I was kind of thinking two as well. Next, three two Choco. When this card is placed on stage from hand, you may heal one, and when this card attacks, you may discard two cards. If you do, deal one damage. I think this is like actually one of the most standard TD cards we've seen, or like yeah. we will we will see. It's like pretty good splashable off CX finisher that also heals, and like notice notably, off CX finishers are kind of lacking in Hall Alive, and I think that this is maybe one of the best ones. It's just this card is also red. And it being red makes it uh, almost unplayable because red is that hard to play around. You know what? You know what? Jen doesn't have red. Gamers. <laughs> All right. <laughs> What's the rating? Uh, I think this is also a two out of five. Good card. It's just hard to play. You know, every time okay, you say okay. red's a bad color, you say it for this 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 card. That's a lot of red cards you've added up now. There are good cards that would be better with this different color. Good card, but red. Sad. <laughs> Alright, next we have this 2 1 Hall Live second generation card. If you have the 0 0 Choco Brainstormer and a 2 1 IMAS level assist below, you may choose one 3 2 Subaru CXE in your hand and place it on the stage in any slot until the end of your opponent's next turn against the following two abilities. Uh, during this card's battle, your opponent cannot play events or backups from hand, and it has hex proof, so it can't be targeted. Wait. Wait, I thought this card was the Magical Girl Appears. No, that's, uh, Gen... 
That's it's a blue card. It's not Gen three. Gen three is uh, salvage two. Gen three. One. Yeah, Gen yeah, three. Yeah, that's Okay, okay, okay. This, this okay. cute. Uh, this event was really good in Kanokari because it spawned mm -hmm. a really good card, and the the super super here. <laughs> Which we're going to talk about later is not a really good card. It's a pretty bad card, and it does, it does event... replace itself for the spawn. Though it's kind of cool. Yeah, but like like this event doesn't yeah. do anything else. So it, it, like unfortunately, it's a one out of five. Okay. All right. Next card. Zero zero super Roo. All you better haul off check against five hundred. So it's global five, and then you can pay one send this card to win if you do choose a two one event shown before to your hand. This would be a really good bonder if the event it grabbed is, is good, but it grabs a really bad event, so cards are not good. One out of five. If you want to build like a Subaru deck, this card's pretty good. <laughs> wow. All right. For uh, the duck. Zero Zero Aqua. This card has a mark underneath this. It gains one level and 500, one five power. And then when this card is placed on stage, maybe be the top card of your deck. If it's a whole life character, mark it. Wow. I love Futaba. Ah. Uh -huh. I actually am a huge fan of like Futaba profiles in general. Like I think, uh, but you play it, it, gives, it gives you like a, a pretty decent blessing zero that can then retain some utility in the late game by making like your brainstorms five cards or like just giving you information for the turn coming up. But yeah, you do play events, so it, it, like this card becomes a bit worse yeah. the total than one it events, should it? be. Uh, I don't remember. Maybe. I don't remember, but yeah, it's Maybe. like if, if you if you just want to play whole like a whole live deck without events, like. You know, one of the ones where it's not as good, this is like a pretty solid plus and zero overall. The extra level is always really nice to have. Yes. Uh, also notice, notably, uh, Blue Splash is pretty hard, and this is one of the two best Blue Splash cards in the set. Mm -hmm. So I think I, I, I would give this card a three out of five and say, like, an asterisk. Uh, it becomes worse if you play events. The other one's the Aqua Ricky, right? Right, 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 yes. right? Yes. Yeah, yeah, all right, sick. All right. Agreed. Next to the zero zero Shion, you can at the start of your opponent's attack phase. You may pay one if you do choose a character across from this and one character in your front opponent's front row. Then to swap them. Unplayable. I don't even understand this card. So you swap to your opponent's <laughs> like, front row characters. No, 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 no. I, I understand. I understand it mechanically. I don't understand like what it's actually trying to be doing. It's trying to protect your other dude. Yeah, I think this is like. Uh... <laughs> this card could be like gen genuinely obnoxious in the right situation, but how often do those situations actually come up? Okay, so like this kind of stuff or this effect and like eight standby, it is extremely good. Like we see that in Dal, but like the Dal card does something else that's relevant, which I think is like actually uh, a big deal. This card doesn't actually do anything else relevant, so you're just going to be playing some like shitter on your board that's doing nothing but making your opponent like have really obnoxious turns. So I think it's a one out of five, but I'm happy to be proven wrong and be told that this card's Agreed. really good. If this card, if this card had some method where it was good, it seems sick, but uh, feels unplayable. All right, now. All right. and uh, do people aggressively match brainstorms? Yes. All right, moving My on. problem with this car is that on the art, it looks like she has bigger boobas than she actually does. Right? I, just, I was looking at that too. I was like, damn, she looks kind of big, but she ain't. Fake. She's flat. She's prepped right, up next. for the, the picture. One zero Subaru. This card was talked about during her stream, actually. If you want to see a clip of that, I think I have that somewhere. Uh, during your turn, this gains 4k power, so it's 7 5 on your turn. Duck out of 10. So uh, this profile is really good with Ramorous clones, which we'll talk about when we get to Gen 5 and the booster. Smile. And uh, yeah, it's like one of the best comp like profiles to spawn with Ramorous, and that's kind of all it really does. So if you play the Ramorous, you play this with it. If you don't play Ramorous, you don't play this. I think this is like a 2 out of 5. Sick. Sick. 2 out of 5. I got the clip. All right, it's next okay. we have 3-2 Subaru. When this is placed on stage from hand, you may... Search your deck for up to one whole life characters and add your hand. Uh, climbers combo when this when a pants CX is placed in your climbing area, you may choose one whole life character in your waiting room and add it to your hand. Until the end of your opponent's turn, this gains X power X equals to the number of your whole, whole other whole life character times one thousand. I missed that apparently. This card sucks. It'll be fourteen yeah. K cross turn. This card actually just sucks. Yeah, it's cards not really good at all. Like it, it's hard to justify this as a level three combo, and I, I'm pretty easy going with like waifu decks and all that fun stuff. But I think this is a one out of five. 
One out of five. Yeah. How much one? I, I really like the duck. I also noticed we skipped the aqua. I guess we're gonna talk about that with the Shion brainstorm then. So no, we. Oh yeah, I guess so. Okay. All right. No, that's fine. Okay. Rare three two Subaru. When this is placed on a stage from hand, you may heal one. Experience two. Uh, experience when this at car attacks. If you have a yellow, a red, and a blue card in your level zone, you may pay the cost. Is but pay two. If you do, reveal the top card of your deck. If it's a whole life character or an event, deal two damage to your opponent. It's just weird. This card like feel really expensive for the experience that it's asking you to have. Uh. Yeah, so burn two on attack without a CX combo should cost three stock or two car two stock one hand or two hand. So uh, their their power budgeting is that one hand is equivalent to experience plus a top check. But oh, sorry, that's burn one. Burn two is different. I'm so sorry. I'm tired. Yeah. Uh, it, it. Okay. Whatever. The experience condition is really awkward. Uh, the cost is really awkward as well, and you can. Also, whiff. even with yeah, it's, it's not and, even like the uh, Steins Gate one where it has a, a fail case burn. Yeah, I don't know. I like I don't. I think that this is a really bad off the expenditure, and like the only upside mm. is that it's also it it can also just be a healer. But I think that this is honestly like a one out of five SSP. By the way, it's because uh, usually on attack burn two is pay two ditch two. Sure, so, but like, but but that's on attack. So this is. Uh, a really strict experience condition with a top check that has a fail case. Okay, it wouldn't be strict. Minus two hands. It, would it wouldn't have been strict if red and blue had better cards. <laughs> sure, but it's still, it's literally have all three colors in your level. Uh, that's what people that do is, a like, lot pretty anyway, obnoxious. with tricolor decks. Yeah, but it's still obnoxious, though. Okay, sir. All right, next is one zero Subaru experience. Uh... When this card is placed on stage Ooh. from hand, you may, if you have a blue card in your level zone, you may discard one card. If you do look at the top four cards of your deck, choose one level one or higher card from among them and add it to your hand. Azusa, Azusa. When was the last time Oz like actual Azusa was printed? That's it was Ilya. a very long time ago. Uh, right? The Ilya, Ilya one? <laughs> not counting not counting Ilya because Ilya is a reprint. No, Ilya. Oh, like I, I, that's, it, that's no, also wait, a reprint. Uh, I'm pretty sure Ilya was before Sun was after Sunshine, right? And Sunshine was. I don't think we got it one after that. Whatever, whatever. Boomer talk. Okay, Azusa is like one of the best profiles. Wait, 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 wait. In this game. Summer, Summer Pocket. Uh -huh. Summer Pocket had an Azusa. Oh, oh yeah, they memory. did. They had the memory condition. Okay. Azusa, you're right. Okay, okay, whatever. Azusa <laughs> is, is one of the best profiles in this game, and there's a very good reason they don't print this anymore because it's absolutely absurd. And we only get them in like these really scuffed versions where they have like really silly conditions or whatever. I think this and, is like, still. I think this is still worth the condition. So, so like this one also has like a kind of scuff condition because uh, you it, it's basically saying you have to play blue yellow at level one, which uh, uh, might not be the I, best. But if you do play a blue level one combo or like a yellow level one combo, I, I think this card's like pretty insane, honestly. I like think it's super easy to splash and gives you so much utility and so much value. This is unironically probably one of the the appeals to playing Aqua three two. If there's if there's a reason to play Aqua three two, this is one of those reasons. It, yeah, like if you play a blue combo, period, then you get yeah. to play and this Aqua card. Aqua happens to just be the best blue combo, and so. this card is really good. And also noticeably, it also grabs level one or higher, so it grabs all these sick events that you can also be playing, which will be coming up later oh. to talk about. Okay, so is it worth it to be playing camera in a deck with Azusa? Tobacco maybe, but tobacco being green is kind of obnoxious. Mm. But uh, it can be. Give you turbo mill. Sure, you get, you get the hyper mill. Just camera, yeah, into yeah, camera, yeah. Into camera. We can we can go back to Philip McKay days of Keys and Ivor mill twenty four cards in one turn. Oh, deck in format. Eight Azusa deck. It's OP. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Anyways, anyways, I think this card's like. I, extremely good it's just the the experience condition is a little awkward so i'd say it's a four out of five and it's not like mm -hmm. a card that you would want to like build your deck around or base your deck around all right <laughs> next we have the zero zero subaru rest one of your hollow life characters when this card is placed on stage from hand you yeah, may pay a cost choose one card from your wing and one card in your level swap them and you may choose one of your characters this turn gains 500 power uh like when you have your hollow life characters front attack you may 
send this to waiting room. If you do, choose your battling character and gains 1k. So it's a 1k field, on court, uh, field counter. If, I think if this card could rest itself, I would be like a really big fan of it. Um, but I think this card is actually still pretty good being like the best CX swapper or like a level swapper in the set. So Yeah, uh, like you've already seen it. Like there's a couple other cards that like have color specific experience conditions and like those can become pretty awkward so this, this card giving you an out to like that awkwardness uh makes it a lot better than what it should be and there's only one other sick level swap i think in the set is the shion brainstorm which will come hmm. up soon and I, think, I think there was I, two but maybe i think that this is the most splashable level or level swapper though is okay. also the good thing so i Field think that this can is, be randomly relevant too yeah i think that this is like a probably a two out of five it's pretty decent it's not necessary but like if you want to play with those awkward color experience condition cards then this is a, a really good card to consider all right what was the rating again two 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 all right nice next to this two one super root uh when this card when you use this card's backup you may discard one climax if you do choose one your balance character gains three five and it's also a two five counter this card could be a 6k counter if you discard a CX. Kinda dang. <laughs> mm. <laughs> gotta, gotta, I have all these bars in my hand, dude. What do I, I do? It's like probably a sick meme that like you can take to locals and like hit somebody with and be like, man, this is so cool. And then <laughs> and that's all it is. But John, you're gonna be ditching all your all your bars to the the one zero Fubuki and the two one Okayu, so you're not gonna have the bars. I don't know. Like, I don't think a ditch two six k counter is worth it. Like, I think that this is a one out of uh, one out of five. And this is like, gonna be bad. One out of five. Sad. No, unless you had something that you like really had to defend, but I don't think Hollow Life has any of those cards. So. Next, we have the zero zero Choco. When this card is placed on stage from hand, you may mill three. And when this card is placed on stage from hand, you may pay one, discard one. If you do salvage one whole life character, then choose one your other whole life character gives it 1k for the turn. Standard utility, like standard generic drop salvage with a secondary effect that's like pretty decent. I said this with the Matsuri Bomb, like optional mill 3 isn't really that good anymore, but it's like still perfectly fine to have and can get you out of bad situations or even like help fill your grave with better targets for the salvage. So I think it's just a two out of five. Decent utility, and that's all. All right, what was the rating? Two out of five. Two out of five. Wait, this channel <laughs> prediction is like, it is not fair. I can just go all in with my 34K points right now. And then but you button. won't because you said you're trying to not be biased, you dumb bitch. <laughs> I, can, I can rig this so hard. Yeah, rig it, rig it for the one that you're gonna say. It's fine. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Next, we have this rare three-two IMA. And make sure it's the one that me and John voted for. Uh, experience: If you have a yellow card and a blue card in your level zone, this card oh, gets two, minus two. one level in hand. If and then it has continuous. All your other Hall of character gains one five power. And when this card is placed on the stage from hand, perform perform the following effect twice. You may choose one of your opponent's level one or higher character. If you do, your opponent chooses this one level X or lower character from the weighing room and swaps the two character. X equals to the level of the character you choose, minus one. This card is so close to being sick, but I, I really do think the experience in this is cringe and red sucks. So it's really <laughs> hard to splash more than this card and like Miku, uh, Miku, Miko in your deck as your red cards. Okay, so if you're playing this card, you're saying I'm playing a red, yellow, blue deck, which is uh, it, hard to talk about in a set review, but it's yeah. very hard to actually build with this set without like making a lot of deck deck building concessions. Sorry, language that make the deck overall worse than what it should be just to get this card out. And like I do can't, think, can't understand. Like <laughs> I, I think this card in a vacuum is absolutely insane, and like maybe a five out of five, but like. It being red and then requiring blue and yellow to to get it off at like the timing where it's a relevant card, it makes it really hard to justify. <laughs> and then you can't yeah. even play like you can also maybe play this in eight standby as like a generic support and it's good there, but then you don't get the the level down effect and it's just some like under spec generic support. It's like, yeah, like a level down is really sick. It, it, honestly, the hardest part of this is actually that it's also telling you to play blue. 
like so it wants you to play the two more under supported colors for splashing so you could also uh, ignore the early play aspect and just play this as like a level no, this three card like sucks. tech kind of sucks when you play but, level three yeah so I'm, I'm i'm of the opinion that the level down effect is more relevant in like the mid game when you're like leveling down your opponent's board at level two when they're still trying to like set up their game plan or like still trying to get, get to their end game point and it becomes a lot less relevant when your opponent's already at the end game point or already ready to go and already set up so like just playing this as like a level three removal card is less than ideal in my eyes but i still think it's like a perfectly fine option for playing this card yeah yeah i mean this, this is a this is a draw two red for sure yes like so I, if if the conditions were a little bit easier i think that this would like probably be an easy five out of five but i think the conditions make this card extremely awkward to play around and i think it's a three out of five all right three, okay. not two Understood. that's pretty respectable that's higher than i expected you to give it but i'm like happy with that it's also ima and i love ima all right next to this one zero choco <clears throat> Uh, continuous experience, you have a blue card in your level zone. This card gains 2 5 and auto hand on course. So it should be 6 5 cross turn. Bad. Also, one of those pack filler cards that don't really serve a purpose. I think this is just a 1 out of 5. Such. IMA. Alright, next we have this 1 1 IMA. If you have two more whole life characters, this gains 2k power and you have hand on course. Oh, 7 5 cross turn. Strict upgrade. Woo! It doesn't cost good one card, more. Good card, good card. Good one. Uh, super generic but uh best variant five five. one sure. one if you play standby you play four of this if you don't play standby you completely ignore this card it's that's a two out of five three out of five it's ima please <laughs> 2.5 all right next we have two two choco uh it's climax combo you may send the standby cx from the climax area to waiting room during your climax phase when this card is placed on stage by the cx standby cx below you may pay a cost if you do stand this and then uh, when your other character is front attack, you may send this to waiting room. If you do, choose your battling character gains 3-5 power. So it's a field encore, 3-5 field encore. I feel like this was Bushi being like, like, man, counter. everybody really likes, I feel like everybody really likes this geld card. Maybe we should try like printing this card again so people will like it. And then they didn't realize that the geld wasn't what made geld good. So uh, I'm going to be honest, I was notorious for undervaluing and underrating geld. And I think I said like Geld was a one out of five, and that card yeah. is like the definition of slime. But yeah, Jason hit the nail on the head. Like Geld isn't good because Geld is good. Geld is good because you can abuse that card really easily in in the eight standby slime shell because you have a stock gen level one combo. And like Hollow Life can't abuse the field counter like slime can. So I don't think like playing a suboptimal two two to have an obnoxious field counter is actually worth it or like actually good also this card is only 8k not 9.5 yeah this yeah. card is like th this card is like extremely suboptimal 2-2 two -two target so if you aren't using the field counter effect on it then it like it's not really doing a whole lot for you the climax combo it's doing isn't really doing a whole lot for you because it's not like huge you can't use it to like standby out when you hit one second and standby mirrors and then like kill the opponent's two twos or whatever oh, yeah yeah like everything like all the effects on this card are just not really good and the only upside to this card in my eyes is that it's a red two two in a in a eight standby set that ha all the other two twos are not on color yep yeah I, I do like the more i'm like looking at all these cards in this set the more i'm realizing like eight standby is kind of cringe when you don't have good red cards to color fix for your standby and you don't have something like the sally brainstorm for bofuri to make that a non-issue yeah yeah God, sally so, brainstorm in this set would be so pog it's like uh color color wise like th this helps eight standby because then you don't have to like lean into blue to play two two targets but like then you're just playing like a really suboptimal two two so i i think uh i think i'm gonna say that this is a two out of five just because it call it like the color makes it a bit easier to play, but I I really don't think this is a very good card. Agreed, agreed, agreed. All right, next we have the zero zero choco. When your character's trigger check reveals a climax, you may discard one climax. If you do look at the top two cards of your deck, choose up to one card from among them, add it to your hand, and send the rest to your waiting room. It's also experience. Ooh. Rest this if you have uh, experience two or higher. You may choose one of your whole life character. Ooh. This turn against two K power okay for eight door i guess or eight bar i mean yeah uh if you play eight bar eight pants uh pants bar whatever it's like a pretty good filter 
Uh, the my only issue is that like we already covered the Fubuki bomb, and uh, there's another uh, climax filter card later in the set that's com that's coming up, and I think both of those cards are actually better than this, and do the climax filter better than this card. So like this card is only particularly good at be as being a climax filter specifically at level zero, and like that timing is not high enough in my eyes to make it better than like the, than just, just playing like Fubuki every turn. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So like you could the argument could then be like, oh, you have to attack with Fubuki and then that becomes a little bit awkward. But I still think like that awkwardness is better than having this card take up slots in your deck and have a very limited window of use while also only giving you like a not the best kind of filter for your bar triggers if you want to get rid of them at a timing where like you don't actually want to be getting rid of those climaxes necessarily. So I think that this is a two out of five. Okay. All right. Sounds good. We're almost done with the prediction timer. It, does, it doesn't matter. You just pay out afterwards. All right. I am a continuous. During your turn, this gains one five, so it's three five on your turn. At the start of your opponent's attack phase, you may mill one card. Level zero lower, you may move it to your left. Right. <laughs> empty slot on your right most. Slot. I love this card. And if it's level one or higher, you may move this to an empty front row slot in your leftmost spot. So it's like the dochi dochi right. type of thing. I I love this card. I think this card is it's not great, but it's really it's really really funny. Because you, it's an it's a runner that even your opponent can't play around. It's OP. They can't they can't be like, "Yeah, I'm going to play my card in the right lane so he can't run." Bro, it doesn't matter. <laughs> it doesn't matter. You have to mill by the way. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> uh, I mill on my I mill on my mill runners anyway. You can't stop me. Uh can I just say this is a one out of five and we go on from there? <laughs> but, but Ryan, but Ryan, this card can go into any lane and still run. <laughs> so they can't play around you by putting the card in the lane this is trying to run to. Because yeah. then if you mill the opposite level, it'll just run to the other side. And it's still a 35 on turn. That's sick. All right, Ryan, yeah. what's rating? One? <laughs> Yeah, it's a one out of five. All right, he's Two. he's the guest here. He's the star. <laughs> I told you, every time we have a guest, it's gonna be one card, and it just hurts you. <laughs> I love that card so much. Zero zero Iron Man. At the start of your climax phase, your opponent may send the top two cards of their stock to wing room. If they do, this card cannot front attack. Never played. Literally uh, never played. Yeah, red fix oversize. You play the Miko drop search ten out of ten times over this card. This is a one out of five. This, this card's nice. also like. There will be a time, I guarantee you, your opponent will actually pay for this because this is anti damage. Pay pay two anti damage. Uh, if you have to field this card, is like pretty worth it. I think. All right, we got later points in we got game. just in time for the pull to end. Uh, <clears throat> Three two Aqua when this is placed on hello. stage from hand. Hi Chairman. Oh, that's sick. You're right. You're you right. You may heal one. You're right. Uh, climax combo when this card attacks you. The pants CX in your climax area, and you have two or more hull life. Characters choose one of the following two abilities and resolve it. The opponent sends the top ten cards are stocked into their deck and then shuffle the deck and then put the same amount of cards from the top of their deck back into stock. Or you can discard two. If you discarded two, you can deal three damage to your opponent and look at look at the top two cards of your deck, put them back on top in any order. So, what what I like about this card is uh the stock swap. So stock swap's always that card where it's like. You know, you don't stock swap because it's just a coin flip, right? So it doesn't actually change their compression. Uh, this card, because it shuffles them back in, as long as their stock is like fully is like all clean, right? Which means you have to actually track their stock. Uh, so with blind stocks, it becomes worse. But if they, if you know what their stock is, you can just do this effect whenever you don't want to burn, and it like only has an upside. Uh, because at worst, it does nothing, which is fine. Uh, but at best, if it removes even a single climax, that's like pretty good decompression, right? And then Bro. did two burn three. No, okay. <laughs> okay. Oh, no. All right. I, I do think that this is a, a, a pretty good top end, honestly, actually. Like, very good combo. It's a healer. Uh, extremely resource efficient finishing combo. Potentially finishing combo. Uh, this, the stock swap aspect is like kind of neat, but it does have the fail case where it can potentially do nothing because of the way it works and you shuffle back. Uh, I mean, it's fine I, though, right? Like my issue with this card is the 
fact that it's a finisher combo it, where in situations you might not actually be able to finish the game so like to actually be a finishing combo you have to ditch cards in your hand <laughs> which is like a realistic cost in the end game yeah like, like ditch two ditch two is like a pretty easy cost to pay for an effect but like it is also an actual cost and if that's like your only way to deal additional damage to try to finish the game, you are uh, might be put into situations where like you don't get another turn or like you're not, your next turn isn't always the best. And with like healing costless finishing combos, you're trying to look at things like playing into multiple turns. And this card doesn't play into multiple turns particularly well. But that being said, I still think it's a pretty good uh, finishing combo and it gives you a reason to actually play into blue, which uh, is pretty good. All right. Have you seen the SSD? I have. I'm trying yeah. to buy one. <laughs> All right, Ryan, what's the rating? As so, a poll. Oh my god. <laughs> Ryan, you 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 know what this card okay. is. <laughs> so so if if this card was more like the Roxy from Mushoku, where it was a consistent burn, consistent damage, where you can uh, determine whether or not to burn your resources to end the game end the turn, end the game this turn, or try to push for another turn, I think this card would be a lot better. But, but because it this the finisher mode of this card is all or nothing, I think it becomes a lot worse than it should be. That being said, still an amazing card. Four out of five. <laughs> Let's go! <laughs> we just I just farm people. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> this poll is not fair. This is actually rigged. Like this is rigged. Is that rigged? It's content, dude. <laughs> <laughs> hey, pay me out, Kevin. Pay me out. <laughs> Good. Wait, we want you to buy from Nova. Good, do it. Go for it. Buy from Nova TCGs. Estimation. I mean, sponsor. no, Matt. What are you doing? Why would you ever do that? Come on. All right. Next, uh -huh. we have this three two. Wait. <laughs> Next we have Kevin, this. Hit me out! Huh? What you want? Hit me out! I did! Did oh, I know? You didn't! Oh, yeah, I had to press, press complete. My bad. What an unfair casino. Nice. I, 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 I made I made 1.3k. Thanks, guys. Called everyone's points in the palm of my hand. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I mean, I don't mind. I have like 100k points. I would have lost I do have this a prediction. I get a prediction for tomorrow. But whatever. We continue. Zero zero Shion. If you have one or less cards in your clock, this card does not stand during your stand phase. Uh, act. You may rest one Hall Life character. Choose. <clears throat> Wait, isn't there? Oh yeah. Act. Rest one Hall Life character. Choose one second gen character from the level zone and one second gen character from your waiting room and swap them. It's also a tap self brainstorm five. Search brainstorm for five. So, so I kind of wish we talked about. Oh yeah, the aqua's right there. Talked about the aqua. We can talk about the aqua. Right the aqua. Here. Talk about the aqua too. Read the aqua. Okay, I'll read the aqua. I'll read the aqua. Okay. During your main phase, when this is placed on stage from hand, you may look at the top card of your deck and put it on top or bottom of your deck. If you have one less clock, you may choose one of your hall life characters and stand it. Uh, when this card is placed on stage from hand, you may reveal the top card of your deck. If that card is a hall life character, add to your hand, discard one. Wait. Didn't this have a bounce effect? I thought it had, no, it thought it had a bounce effect on it. No, no, it's oh. just a double filter. So, so like the aqua is relevant because it pairs perfectly with this card and it removes the demerit of this card in situations where like this card won't actually stand. And then it can also turn it into a seven card brainstorm. You have to play another card. So like, I this is also one of the cards where I'm actually not sure. I think this card is either potentially absurdly broken or really bad and unplayable. And I, I don't actually know which side of the spectrum it will be on. So like, it, you get an amazing brainstorm, but then you also have to play, you have to dedicate at least two slots to the Aqua in order to try to play around the actual demerit that this card can potentially have, or you have to just slam four of the Shion brainstorm into your deck and then try to always have a second brainstorm in your hand for the situations where she doesn't stand. So yeah. like, the demerit, uh, is pretty real in certain situations but then at the same time you can also say you don't need to brainstorm every single turn so it doesn't really matter and like if you have uh, you have ways to fix the demer you can just play another brainstorm or whatever so like i like I, I yeah i'm having a hard time trying to figure out if this card's broken because brainstorm five is really really good or if it's like not good at all because the demerit is too heavy so like i i think i would give this a three out of five and 
put the asterisk of I don't know this is either really damn good or really bad and then the aqua would pair with it exactly as well as like a three out of five yeah they, they go together because you never play me as aqua without playing that Shion. all right next we have this one zero aqua let me remove this three uh continuous experience two if you have 4.5 experience five. two or higher you just gained for each of your other hall life character this gains 500 power so if you have full field she gains 2k it should be 6-5 cross turn uh during your turn when your hall life wait wait when this card's battle point is reversed if you have another hall life character you may send that character to the bottom of your opponent's deck it's a 6-5 bottom deck bottom. That's okay Dark bottom deck removal Neato. yeah it's like a hard removal blue splash kind of card i don't know I'm not really a fan of this, but it being blue splash and like utility, it makes it a little bit better than I want to give it credit for. So I'm just going to say it's a two out of five. Decent enough, but like not something you want to build around. Peace sign Aqua is pretty strong. All right. 1-1 one, one Aqua. When this is reversed, if your battle opponent's no, level is too, higher man. than your opponent's level, you may send a character to the bottom of your opponent's deck. So this card is often known as a bottom deck Adachi. Woo! Has yeah. Like Dachi. Woo. Dachis are really good. Not really a whole lot to talk about. If you play blue, you need removal. You play it two out of five. Nice. Sick. All right, next we have this 2 1 Shion experience. If you have the 3 2 Aqua in your level zone, this gains minus one level in hand. And at the end of this card's attack, if you may pay the cost by discarding one and sending the pan CX from Climax area to the waiting room. If you do, look at the top four cards of your deck, choose out the four Hall Life characters from among them, add them to your hand, and then until the end of your opponent's next turn, this gains 1k power. It'll be Climax 8k off turn. Really good. Climax art's really good. This card is stinky. Yeah, card's not really the best. Like, has a good early play condition, but then the actual combo you're getting out of it is not really that that good. You don't have to and like stuff. doesn't. I I feel like the set is targeting me and trying to be like a, a shittier Kanokari, and Kanokari's already looked at as bad. Like, <laughs> yeah. leave me alone. I I don't know. I I feel like some people really like this these kind of combos i don't i think these kind of combos are pretty not good but like there can be some kind of there can be like arguments that you can make where like you can play an eight pants deck and then you have a whole bunch of like cards that would support eight pants pretty well and then you can play like a whole bunch of other like utility cards at level one without clogging your board because you only need one card to actually get your pluses out of but like i i don't really think that's good enough to justify this uh suboptimal combo agreed so I think that this is a one out of five. Oh, you know. Uh, three, no. two, Shion. When this Ow. card is placed on stage from hand, look at the top three cards of your deck, put them back on top in any order, choose one of your opponent's characters, bounce it. Then this card is also an alarm. If this card is at the top of your clock, at the start of your main phase, you may pay one, discard one if you do free fresh. I'm, I'm still not sold on this alarm free fresh thing they keep putting in sets. Uh... It's like okay it's a bouncer though yeah the timing for the free fresh is like really awkward because you have to free fresh before any like decisions or knowledge on the turn and like usually you would want to like use the knowledge that you gain from doing things on turn to determine if you want to free fresh or not so i think it's really awkward but like yeah this card's a bouncer and bouncers are good and like as tech ones so you can like tech this and then sometimes it also gives you a free fresh in like dire situations where you just refresh and you're out eight and you have like 50 cards in deck or something so I think it's like a two out of five, decent enough tech. Good, yeah, one out of five, true. All right, zero zero so, Aqua. Yeah, the alarm has to be the top card of your damage. If this is in your front row center slot, this gains three K power. So in front row center slot, it's three five. Uh, when this card is sent from stage to waiting room, you may pay one, put a whole life character from a waiting room onto the bottom of your clock. If you do, look at the top two cards of your deck, choose up to two whole life characters from among them, and add them to your hand. So this card is played in Assault Lily. That card is like a, like a staple four of an Assault Lily. And that card's like 30 Ryan bucks. Ryan asked me about this card uh, before, like a few days ago. And he's like, hey, what do you think? I'm like, I don't know. It doesn't seem very good. Messed around with this card. This card's a lot better than I thought it was going to be. Being a 35 is pretty sick. And then having, having the ability to do the plus and fix color for itself is really good yep so like this is the other like really good blue splash that you can use to fix for blue if you want to play okay. blue combos I'm it, gives you, it doesn't matter 
Yeah, it gives you like a, a pretty decent like turn one play plus and zero that also then gives you additional pluses later in the game or not later in the game, like later on at level zero through that Ricky effect. And in a way that makes it so you can like mindlessly try lane at zero and then not get punished and constantly have your hand, which is pretty relevant. But like you can't, Assault Lily can like multi-lane the bomb Ricky and get a lot of value out of this. Whereas like this card's harder to multi-lane because the power condition is so awkward. And like, ideally you only want one of this on the board at a time. Whereas like Assault Lily can play like two bombs and like slam climaxes turn one and whatever and then refill their hand whereas like hollow life will have a harder time doing that but still a pretty good card good blue splash i think that this is a three out of five nice nice Boy. nice all right zero so xion when this card is placed on stage from hand reveal the top card of deck if it's level one or higher choose my opponent's level one or lower character this turn it gains minus one level when this is level. reversed with the battle opponent's level zero lower you may send that character to the bottom of your opponent's deck Dude, you can bomb their, you can bomb their one one. It's uh, I don't know. I I don't really get why you would ever play this kind of card. I'm gonna I'm be gonna real. Try. I'm gonna try, John. I think it's a one out of five. <laughs> you play it because you like Xion. All right, we're finally done with Gen two. Let's go, gamers! Oh. oh my god! Yeah, Gen four. Sorry, Gen 2 is also kind of mediocre. So it's like overall, it's like a 2.5 out of 5. Mm, but then like the, the standout cards are, are really good. And then everything else is just not really good. Better than the other stuff. Uh, you'll you'll see all standout cards. Gens have been 2 out of 5. Yeah, uh, spoilers. Gamers in Gen 4 are the really strong gens. Yeah, boy. All right, starting with gamers. No bias, by the way. Uh, zeros are a coronate. A character across from this cannot move to the other slide. If you have five more hands, this oh. gains 2k power, so it's 3 5 cross turn if you have five hand. This card's so good. Yeah. This card's so good. It's like a really good yellow fix oversized. I love, Yohan I love Yohane oversized. Yeah, it's really good. And then, like, we're like kind of in like the meta where runners are more common now okay, because Kagia okay, okay. is like the big threat that everyone's trying to build around. So, anti runner is like actually really relevant. So, I think this card's like a three out of five. And then, if runners become less relevant, then this becomes a little bit less ideal. Yeah, good card. All right, next we have one zero flip a key when this card attacks, choose one of your characters. This turn gains two five. A lot of power. Power. You, if you play an on reverse combo, it's a good card. Otherwise, power out of five. Like, uh, Two out of two out of five. Power out of five. All right. Next to this one zero coronate. When this card is placed on stage from hand, mm -hmm. this card gains X power. X equals to number of your whole life characters times five hundred. So full board, she gains two five, and she loses power. Uh, oh, climax combo. When this card attacks, if you have another, if you have the choice climax in your climax area, and you have another whole life character, you choose one of your character this turn. It gains on reverse search one. Oh, search one. Well, that's pretty good. Wait, search? I was cheating. Yeah, it's sure. This card's better than I thought it was? Yeah, I see it. Sh shuffle. <laughs> oh, this card's better than I thought it was! Oh, uh, oh this is cracked! See, this is the reason why you gotta read your trans read your cards. Whoa, wait, we're cheating, please, but this card's better! <laughs> please learn, like, basic kanji. Look, 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 look. I, was, I was convinced- I was convinced this card was just one-for-one one Leafa. That was better. This card's better. Like, like, like waiting room and deck aren't even like right i wasn't reading the account. fucking part it was a piece of printed printer paper okay anyways i think that this is like a very uh okay at best mediocre level of combo good. and it's good. like not worth really building around or like considering over and like other Disagree. better level one combos i think it's just a two out of five it's fine but not really that good all right thank you doom spades for the follow next card fuck you jason this card's good. All right, TD two one Fubuki. When this is placed on stage from hand, if you have another whole life character, you may draw one, discard one, and put the top card of your deck into stock. If you give, uh, if you give this fucking tobacco a higher rating, I'm gonna riot. <laughs> Change. You may pay one, discard two characters, return this to hand, and start your climax phase. You may pay a cost if you need to choose a three two Fubuki Yo. below and you, from your waiting room and place on the stage in this card's form. Ryan, Ryan, I just realized the fox got a fox changer. <sighs> Yeah, yeah. This it's is always the, the fox. This is, this is fox from Persona Whoa. Five four years ago. I remember Love that winning, card, dude. I do remember winning a regional playing fox. Yeah. Okay, anyways, no, this changer is horrendously bad. <laughs> I, 
like so this changer used to be good like way back when in the day when like anti-level three wasn't really a thing and people weren't playing board removal but people play board removal so like investing a whole bunch of resources a whole bunch of hand to get out of like a super sticky hard to remove level three isn't good enough anymore i think this is a one out of five smudge smudge it's cute though the three two is really cute. all right three two food key that changes into yeah. when this card attacks you may pay one discard one if you do this gains 2k for a turn and the ability when this card's bad point is reversed deal one damage to your opponent at the start of your opponent's draw phase this is in the front row choose when your characters this turn it gains 4k power it's like a uh i don't know i think this card's really awkward it's like trying to be an okay standby target but then when it's an okay standby target the the finisher effect's really bad and then conversely if you're playing this as like a finisher an obvious finisher then it's the it's all their effect is like completely worthless and not really that good so i think like this card's really awkward and hard to justify playing over like other cards that are going to be better in more situations than this so i think that this is a two out of five right, two out of five and thank you red gang for the one dollar tip he says Woo! don't bully red we can't we can't help it red red bullies itself yeah he's part of red gang no oh, the gamer the gamer card all right one zero hashtag whole life gamers event uh look at the top card Top four cards of your deck. Choose up to one whole life characters from among them and add to your hand. It's commonly known as camera. Uh, pretty like playable, good event on its own. Uh, we don't have this card on the slide, but this event has a bonder, a pay one bonder, plus one bonder that you can so good. you can uh, loop by playing a climax. So we'll talk about it more when we get to the bonder. Mm -hmm. This card is a three out of five. Good event. Yeah. Okay, but if it didn't have a bonder, would it be less? If it didn't have a bonder, it would still be a three out of five. It, okay. With the same logic that I used with the cigarettes event, where like the, it's a decent enough event, and then this and set has enough support okay. to abuse this, uh, like abuse the event and like grab it Fair consistently. Enough. Reasonable, reasonable. Okay. All right, three out of five. Uh, zero zero Okayu. When this card attacks, you have one less other characters. You may mail one of that card. It's level zero or lower character. You may place it in this back row slot. Red in it. Place in the back row slot. Uh, when this is reversed, if the battle opponent is level zero or lower, you may send the top card of your opponent's clock to the waiting room and send that character to clock. So it's like level zero clock bomb. I actively think if your spawner, if your spawner cards don't top check for you, they're not worth playing. Yeah, like. This profile has been good before, but it's been good as a plus and zero when the other effect is either good utility or a way to facilitate the plus. And this card has neither. It's not a good utility card that stays relevant, and it's not a way to make the spawn better. It's just uh, two kind of mediocre effects slapped on together, and it doesn't make a good card. So I think that this is just a... It's a two out of five. Well, yeah. Card's fine. Man, it's man, it is man, great with the chrono. Yeah, so it's great with the chrono runner, but then you have to commit another card to get this card to function, and then it, like that means that this card becomes inherently worse because it's relying on something else. Not even as good as Machoke. What the <laughs> hell? What's that supposed to mean? Go ahead. All right, TD Mio. When this card is placed on stage from hand or sent from stage to way room, you may discard one climax. If you do, choose one whole life character from way room and add to hand. Card's good. Shintaku, it's you uh, the first time we've seen this profile as well, actually. I don't know. Uh, uh, yes, yes. Specifically for this type of hand filter. For other on, hand filters. On play, on death, on death yeah. Yeah. Uh, so like CX filters are obviously pretty good and like the fact that this is like a double CX filter almost means it's like a pretty amazing in a deck with eight CX plusing triggers like bars and pants or whatever. So I think it like I still think it's a two out of five because it's just good utility, but I think it's a strong better utility, like a very extremely strong utility that helps make like eight bars, eight pants or bar pants climax mm -hmm. lineup a lot better than they maybe should be. Agreed. All right, uh, three, two, Mio. When this card is placed on stage from hand, you may heal one. Uh, Climax combo when this card attacks. If you have the bar CX and Climax area, you may pay the cost. If you do look at the top two cards of your opponent's deck, choose up two cards from among them, put them on top of your opponent's deck in any order, and send the rest to waiting room. 
Then until the end of your opponent's next turn, this gains 2k power. Often known as a mocha, but pay one. I don't know if the 2k power is worth the pay one. Because I mean, like, it means that this card I'll be more realistically alive, right? To the next turn. But... So we didn't include it, but this card also has a 2 1 that can spawn it early. Yeah, there's right? a 2 1 plus 0 0. Yeah, oh. but even then, so, so like Mocha at level 2 is, is really strong. Like, we're seeing it right now. One of the best decks in the meta is a deck that spams Mocha's at level 2 for free. It's just like Mocha is good because it's costless uh finisher power quote unquote like it's a costless way to to confirm pushing damage or have a better chance of pushing your damage so like this card loses that costless uh functionality to try to make itself a little bit more stick here and i think in a, a meta slash game where hard removal for early plays is common it being stickier doesn't actually matter so in the end it ends up being just like a worse uh mm -hmm. mocha at two kind of combo to play agreed it's also like harder to play because you only play one of it off the ep right because it's like rest bolt yeah uh it, it's not it's you can't uh it you've not it's not that you can't it's extremely hard to get multiples out of level two so it's hard to like have big it, swingy turns at level wait, wasn't at the level two, two one like rest it, wasn't the two one rest itself and the brainstorm uh some i thought, I thought it was i thought it was you had to rest to, to I, so it was like really realistically only we can you could play one but we can we can talk about this when we get to the changer sure. like but, uh, same point same point it's hard to have really powerful big swingy turns with yeah. multiple mobas at level two yeah. still also, a fine combo to play i think it's like a two out of five don't look at jp playing two this card they're playing this they're playing this card in in td only events where this card becomes a lot different when you're playing it in a whole live exclusive td only event so, probably pretty decent. Uh, te meta, technically, actually, they can't even play booster yet, so it's like. Yeah, yeah. So that, that's what I'm saying. It's like, it's like the TD event. So you everybody's only playing Hollow Life TDs, where like a card like this, probably pretty decent when it's only TDs. You can also just play Rushi. All right, time for the booster stuff. Zero zero Corona. When this card is placed on stage from hand, look at the top two cards of your deck, put them back on top in any order, and start your opponent's attack phase. If there's a character in the slot across from this, you may move this to an empty front row slot. I love Corona. It's a uh, okayish plusing zero with good utility that stays relevant throughout the entire game. Yeah, relevant. And like set. a common theme, if you've ever talked to me about Weiss or like you listen to me when I like do content, is I think. Uh, Cards staying relevant throughout the entire game is extremely valuable when deck building. So, like, I think that this card is is very good as a blessing zero if you need yellow fix. Uh, free run, like, I, I I'm not particularly a fan of free runners, but in a meta where you're playing against like Kagia and you need a runner to live, this is one of the best blessing zeros you can be playing. So, I think that this is a three out of five. And if your meta is like very specifically Kagia and you're trying to build around Kagia, then this card becomes better. It becomes like a four out of five. I mean, it's also just good in, like... Because I feel like every deck right now is either playing Clean Cut itself or it's playing a card to out... Cut, to out clean Cut, yeah. So it's playing yep. its own runners or whatever. So this card's pretty good. Notably, this set has multiple cards that just that this top check becomes desirable. Where, like, I think a top check to rearrange is, like, less relevant in other sets than it is specifically in Hollow Live. All right. Oh, next we have 2-1 Corone. Sick card, uh, sick card. Level assist. And after you may discard the whole live gamers event that we saw earlier, rest this and then search your deck for a whole live character. Or you can act discard a whole live gamer event, rest this, choose one of your opponent's character, and bounce it. Yeah. I wasn't playing this. I put a single copy in the my, my bar choice deck. Just having the option for this card is like really strong. The the first effect. Both effects, honestly, are, like, very powerful modular effects to use your event for when you don't want to mill. Yeah, so, like, when you hit level 2 and you're in the mid-game, camera events or, like, force mill events uh, become a whole lot worse because you aren't always in situations where you want to be touching your deck and, like, messing around with it. So having a card that can convert those events into something better or, like, mm -hmm. any, any for a better card is actually insane. And, again, we don't have the event bonder. But th this event specifically has a loopable bonder that you would want to be playing with it. So you have a way to constantly guarantee that you have this gamer's event to use this Corona uh, one. Yeah, and I feel like if you didn't have that Mio bonder, then this card, it becomes really bad. But the fact that Mio as a card Double exists a three. makes this card 
a lot better than it should be. So I, like right now, I want to say that this is a three out of five, and then this is also one of those cards that might be a four out of five. If if like gamers is played in like all the decks, right? If like you end up yes. if the decks all end up pivoting towards gamers event, yeah, this card's probably yes. like a four. So the search, the search is like so valuable when I, it's because it's just like bounce is situationally really powerful, but the search is like always powerful. So yeah, good card. All good right, Coronet. Next we SP. Have... Ryan, sell me the SPs, please. <laughs> <laughs> please. All right, next we have this 3-2 Coronet. When this card is placed on stage from hand, you may pay the cost by I paying one, card. choose an event in your waiting room, add to hand. And it climbs combo at the end of this card's attack. You have a T choice CX, which is coincides with the level one combo before. Uh, you may deal two damage to your opponents, then choose one climax in your opponent's waiting room and uh, shuffle it back into the deck. I love this card. Uh, also, it makes sense now after you see, we get to the Okayu that we'll see later why it shuffles back the card. But the, the pay one effect is super relevant for some decks. Smile. Tell yeah. <clears throat> yeah. Uh, on demand event grabbing is going to be relevant for another card coming up later. It's also relevant because uh, <laughs> I don't know when we're covering it, but this set has a very relevant and anti damage quote unquote event counter. So you can use this as a way to guarantee that you have your anti damage spending. Oh, true. Wait, Kevin, why don't we going over that card? Anti damage That's like the generic card. Oh. Yeah. The, the, uh, you know, I guess the end of tomorrow. Okay. <laughs> Yeah, okay, okay, so tomorrow. <laughs> yeah, so so we just have to keep in mind, like, this gives you a way to consistently grab your quote-unquote anti-damage counter. While being a free burn. And if you play that mediocre TD Corona combo, you get an additional Bro, finisher. Bro, it's not mediocre! Fuck and, you, like, Ryan! You can, th th this card existing can let you build a deck where you can, like, play one of those level 2 combos, like Mel or something, and still have a finisher combo, which is, like, or relevant. But you can play another finisher combo, too. This, this combo is not really that good. It's pretty mediocre, and the 1-0 is pretty mediocre. So I think it's just, like, a 2 out of 5, solely for the event bonding. Mark my words, guys. This, this combo is going to be meta. You heard it here first. Someone clip that. All right, go next. One zero Coronet. During your turn, if you know a whole life character, this gains three key power, so six five in your turn. And then when this card is placed on stage from hand, you may discard one event. If you do, salvage the whole life character. Okay, I I, I want to believe this card is good. I I want to find room for this card in decks where I'm playing camera because I just like having the, especially when I'm playing other events as well. I like having the ditch event, but I can't find room for it ever. I'm not really sold. Most of the events that you want to be playing are events that like you're okay with playing at level one and will usually be doing something. And then like later in the game, the events become cards that you want to be holding or for gamers specifically, like you have other ways to convert into better effects like the 2-1 Corona assist. So I don't really think that this card is particularly valuable in that regards. So I think it's just like a two out of five and maybe it's decent. But do you see the sick art? All right, next. Uh, double R, one zero Okayu. When this card is placed on stage from hand, if you have two more other Hall of characters, this turn gains 2k powers. So it's 6k on your turn. When this attacks, if you have the bar CX and climax here, and you have two more other Hall of characters, look at the top three card top the top three cards of your deck. Choose up to one card and add it to your hand so you can add CX's events and characters. And it has a nice Horrible. foot CX. We, we saw this before. Um in so card capture soccer and JP. Uh, it was on a what, wind? Wait. It was on a wind, yeah. Didn't get played. Wait. Being on a bar, though. Real shit? Question mark? Ryan? <laughs> yeah. Uh, bar level 1 CX. It, bars at level 1, arguably the best trigger in the game. Period. Regardless. Like, period. Full stop. Having, having a bar as your level 1 combo means that over the course of a long period of time you're going to have your level one combo more consistently than other decks as well as you're going to have the ability to loop your level one combo more consistently than other decks well don't spoil it and this 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 combo very specifically is a combo that you want to loop it's very easy to loop so that it pairs extremely well with the bar it's huge by itself 7k is pushing the relevant thresholds you can make it seven five with that meal bonder that we keep talking about so it can be like that, that power threshold you need to challenge like one one standby targets at level one and then there are additional green specific level one cards like this jc that's in gen four we'll talk about later and that fubuki bomb that uh make playing green at level one a lot more ideal so there's a lot going for this card that makes it a lot more playable than like car capture soccer had for mm -hmm. example 
true. Also, CX. I didn't know the frame version has the full. Frame. I didn't know. I didn't know. The, I didn't know the the, the triple R. Wait. This is a CC. Wait, is that the climax common? Yeah, this is climax common. Wait. It is a full foot. The open frame hides the foot, but the regular one doesn't. Yeah, dude. What the? Kinda, wait. Kind of, kind of pog champ. S tier foot. Card. I mean, ironically, the card's actually wait, wait, a lot, what, a lot more taller to what'd look you, at. What did you give it? I was distracted by foot. <laughs> Did she give out a four? You're so cringe. You're so <laughs> I was cringe. staring at the foot. I'm sorry. You're so cringe. I hate you so much. <laughs> All right. Let's get it. My God. <laughs> oh, my God. I, I, I'm actually very tempted to almost give this a five. Like, I, I legitimately... I legitimately think any Hall Life deck that you're building, you want to be it's playing. playing this so it's a five. But like, I, 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 not, I'm not particularly confident enough in myself to, to give it that rating. I, I don't know. I need to think. I need All to right. think. I'll give you five seconds. Five, four, uh, three, two. Okay, I'm, five. Gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna make a, 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 a hot take. I think playing green and hollow live is always going to be the play. And when Agreed. you play green and hollow live, I think you're always going to be playing this combo. So unless you're trying to do something very specifically that isn't just playing good, that isn't just playing good cards, you're playing the Sokayu combo. And I think in that regards, this it should be a five out of five card. But I'm going to say four out of five. What? <laughs> I was debated. <laughs> oh. Five for feet though. Baited. Right, there we go. <laughs> zero zero Okayu. <laughs> this ability activates once per turn. When you play an event, choose one of your characters. This turn gains 1k power. It's also a check top 3 brainstorm. These brainstorms are really unique and interesting, but they've all never seen play for a good reason. They're not better than Salvage, they're not better than Search, and this card is in the same boat. It's okay, it's not better than an actual brainstorm, so it's a 2 out of 5. 2 out of 5. Be such. 1 0 Mio. When you use this card's backup, you may choose a Hall of Character, you need to give it 1k, and then it does a 1k backup, yeah. 2k backup. Why is this card a 50k yen SSP? Uh, don't ask me, people love Mama Mio. Mio. I mean, Mio? yeah, Mio is amazing. It's the prettiest, it's the prettiest. Back, 2k backup you will ever play if you buy the foil uh yeah it's a two out of five 2k backups are fine if you need them and yeah if you yeah, need them you play them you. all right two on okayu level assist uh when your character's trigger reveals a climax trigger you may discard a climax if you do salvage one good card yeah i, I got alluded to this earlier as well like it, this is the other form of like climax filtering that you can play in this set it's arguably the best form of climax filtering. So like it converts your bars and pants into door triggers, which means that like you're all at the mid to late game, you're always gonna have the selection you need to set up for your end game, while also being like a relevant uh, assist card to like your early plays or whatever. Card is really good. Mm -hmm. like, I think it's a three out of five. Nice, nice. This card, probably, this card is what makes you able to play like a it's pretty good the level two pants. though yeah so the timing window which you can use it is a lot lower compared to like a level zero filter oh, yeah. but at the same time because it's a lot lower you're getting a better filter out of it so during your mid game you get a consistent filter that selectively adds the exact card that you need at that moment so you can add more early plays if you're staying at level two you can set up for your finishers if you need it whereas with like the choco completely random and you can mess up your deck states mm -hmm. in deck and because you're forced to touch your deck in situations where you don't always actually want to be touching your deck so regardless of this card coming out later than like the choco at level zero you're all even if you play both of them you're always going to replace the choco with this card specifically because yeah, you're going to want that better level. filter out so it make and you don't it doesn't matter if this card's at level two because you have the fubuki at level one so it doesn't matter um, yeah you you have a good filter at level one as you're well you're going to be so doing like, the same effect okay let's move on <laughs> All right, we got this two one Mio. Reach for other Hall Life character. This gains one K power, so you have four. You have full field. This gains four K power. It'll be ten K cross turn. Uh, when a TD bar is CX is placed in your climbing area, if this is in the front row, you may put the top card of your deck to stock. Then choose one 
PD32 meal in your waiting room at the hand. Not a changer, by the way, guys. Wait, oh. wait, no, wasn't there actually a changer in the TD? Uh, I honestly don't remember. At this it might point. be a two one that lets you play for it. I thought that was the, I thought that was the card that was like. I might have read it. It's like, same... this card is terrible and ignored wait, it. My that, this, 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 this is swore... like this is like the two one Ellie from Love Live. Wait, no, no, but I swore they all had the card that was like rest the brainstorm rest itself. To yeah, I probably skipped dude. it. I'm sorry. Okay, whatever. I'm gonna, Besides, I'm gonna double check that. So it, yeah, it, this card's like two one Ellie from Love Life, but the issue here is that it no. like being a two one ten k isn't actually good enough. Like that's not really doing anything for you. It's not relevant power to beat two twos. It's not relevant power to beat early plays. So like all this card does is like give you extra nope. combo to tutor into your finishing combo and save like climax spot uh, climax space. So I don't know. I I think this card's pretty bad. Like it's uh probably a one out of five. Nope. There there is no. There's no way to early play it. Please it. No way nope. to early play it. It was it was another it was another oh. one that got that. Oh whoops my bad. Yeah. So then the TD Mio is even worse. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Next we have this amazing card. During your turn, global five. Uh, when your whole life character is placed on the stage from hand, you may scry. I'll just look at the top part of your deck. I mean. And uh, when a climax is played in a climax area, you may pay one if you do salvage the Hall Live Gamers event. This card, I I like, kind of coomed a little yeah, bit. Definitely had all these other effects. This card, because this is like one of the like I didn't know I wanted this particularly. I just wanted a bonder to this event, and then I was like, I saw this and I'm like, wait a minute, this is probably just better. And then I played with this card when I proxied it. This card's so good. <laughs> this this yeah. card is, is so this good. Card this card is two relevant effects that are good to play and like you would want to consider tied with a third effect that's kind of insane honestly so it's like a pseudo amagi but you you do the amagi later right that's how i think about it mm -hmm. and it's like just a really good way to convert your stock into pluses loop your camera event loop the like, two on corona assist uh constantly have deck speed for like the following turn just in case like anything happens and like still provide relevant still provide all the relevant text like it makes your okayu 75 it gives you top deck information so you know attack order like you know if you need to brainstorm or whatever like very really good card so i want to i want to point out now just because i don't really care yeah, this, uh, this card's a common why is this yeah, a common, this, a common. This, card's a, this, this card is actually uh, this really card's like good. actually you could this could be a double r like unironically this could be a double r um the Luna, the the JC we talked about, has a condition that you need two level zeros on the field, two other level zeros on the field. I have found that like this set doesn't have very good level zeros to have in the back row a lot of the time. Until Besides we saw this. This card, this card is like a great level zero to have in your back row. This is like one of the best. Yeah, Absolutely. we can talk about that more when we get to Luna. Yeah. But yeah, like this card pairs extremely well with a really good card that is really good in a deck. Also just makes the card better. Like I, I want I want to say this card's a four out of five. I think this card's absolutely insane. And like makes playing this gamers keep, package and building like green yellow. Two of it. I just keep like, slamming two of it. It's yeah. so bad. All right, what's rated? Yeah, like, four I think this is a four out of five card. Like, I think this card's Mama amazing. Mio. Mama Mio common is better than all her other cards. Is Commons better than her SSP? <laughs> Somebody spoils with this too, Ryan. Thanks. <laughs> what would you rate this card if it was red? It's a level zero, so color doesn't matter. If it was red, it'd still be. It'd, it'd actually probably be a little bit better. It'll, it'll be one of your better be red splashable pick. targets. Yeah, it'd be good. It'd yeah. be a good red splash. Okay. All right. Next, we got this two one meal when it attacks. Choose when you're at a whole lot of characters. This turn gains X power times the number of events in your waiting room. Minus one fifteen hundred. Uh, acts. You may discard one whole life character. Reveal the top player deck. If you if you reveal the whole life character, this turn this gains the ability to attack your opponent's back row character. Uh, honestly, I think the back row attacking is like super niche and not really good at all. So like you'd only play this card for the event power pump. And we've already seen one event that's really good, and you probably want to be playing a lot of it. We've seen the Gen One event as well. That's also really good. You might want to play. There's a couple other generic events coming up where on certain decks you want to be playing them. So like a Hololive list, list might be playing like six, seven, eight events. And at that point, this card becomes what? Uh, six, nine, nope. uh, 12k? Yeah. 
Yeah, it becomes pump. becomes a 12k pump, which is like kind of insane. It's kind of like the the Sachi from uh, Saya, uh, Saya that people played. If I would like this card more, if this card could could uh, buff itself as well. I think yeah, be a lot nicer. So like but... it, it's a, it's other effect being irrelevant makes this card a little bit awkward because it's like you play this and it's not really a good attacker and it's not really doing anything else proactive for you. I'm pretty sure the idea is that this card's power doesn't matter because a lot of time it's, it's wanting you to, to use it to attack the back row. Yeah. So yeah. it doesn't matter so, that this card doesn't get power. So I think this card's like a two out of five. It's like pretty decent, worth considering, but I don't one. think it's like the best. Yeah, it's it's one of the better like two one pumper cards, like like power cards. So. Oh yeah. All right. Card. Next we have this card. three two Okayu. Okay. This ability activates up to once per turn. When you play an event, this card gains two K power, so it'd be twelve five. During a turn, as soon as placed on stage from hand, you may when this card attacks, you may pay one. If you do. Mill your opponent. Uh, your opponent mills X cards. X equals the number of whole live game rooms event in your waiting room times six. So if you have four events, you can you force your opponent to mill twenty four. This card is literally an execute. I love this fucking card. This card plays so much better than I thought it would, just because it just mills so many cards at once. Yeah, you can use this as like legitimate like decompression tool mm -hmm. that can like de completely destroy opponents in same deck states in a way that they can't stop or interact with and like the gamers event as we've already seen and talked about you probably want to be playing this it's a good event has a good package around it so this card just becomes good all the time like if yeah. this card did anything else on play i think i'd be a lot more i'd be a bigger fan of it but like it's still good enough on its own you can think of this as like your tech stock stock or whatever just like your tech decompression tool yeah i just fired a slam one of it i slammed two of it in, a, in one deck only because it plays like the Toa, so I want to like try to force my opponent into bad deck states as often as possible, and this does that. So, yep, uh, card's really, card's really, really neat. I, I'm, I'm kind of shocked with myself because I love, I, I, I never thought I'd like give a card like this a three, but I think this is a three out of five. It's really good, Wait. like a really, oh, really good dude. compression tool or decompression tool. I'm sorry that the opponent can't and play sometimes, around. Sometimes your opponent just dies because of it. They're like they sit there and they're like. You know, I'm at three six, but I can't really die. My deck state's pretty good, you know, and I'll, I, I have healers in my hand, so it doesn't matter. And then you just mill them for twenty four cards, and then all of a sudden they're like, "Uh oh, I think I just lost the game." <laughs> all right, sick. Oh, I think this is the last card of the day. Oh my God. Uh, this is the release tournament Corona One Zero PR. If all your characters are all alive, this gains 3k power, so it'll be 6-5. This card has a marker underneath it, this gains 2k power, so it'll be 8-5 frost turn. And when this card is placed on stage from hand, choose a card from your hand and put underneath this card face down as a marker. So everyone, everyone that so knows the flavor. flavor is a homie, by the way. If you don't know this flavor, you're a fake fan. Yeah, you're a faker. <laughs> okay, anyways, this card kind of sucks. I'll play, I'll play this card. Somebody give me this card. I'll play this card. One zero eighty five at the cost of or a neg one for a costless eighty five. Like maybe it sounds kind of sick, but like the meta is literally all about like board removal and thinking about how you can make cards as big as possible to deal with standby. So like this card isn't going to actually do anything for you, and you're just going to neg one. Brian, so what, I, happens like, your, what happens in your overhand? You had to ditch your card anyway. Like, so I think this is a one out of five. <laughs> sad. The UBs. Oh, uh, yeah, that is the last card. Oh, thank God. All right, so if you guys did not know already, this will be a two part stream. It's already been three hours and five minutes for this first half because this set is absolutely huge. Gamers definitely get the four. Yeah, gamers in general get the four, but 